Just gonna pick it up where we left off from yesterday. Yeah. Everybody's having a good week. See, like they had to update everybody's key on Twitch, so I had to get a new stream key for a second there. Must have been who said that up. The water thing. Sure looks like it. Let's do this here. Makes more sense to do something like this now. Set up a silicon line, did I? That's steel. I'll just dump it. It's fine. There's some trees and plant some stuff. Yeah. Trees is certainly not something we're lucky. And how creating more water tiles create generates pollution, which is what this does. It shouldn't, but what is this? It does. a lot of foresting too near this iron mine. <laughs> Did 
get some more crude oil right here. Probably could put something over there in addition. Not quite yet, though. Just needs to be thicker. I think this one is empty already or not. So I'll clean this out, place new trees here. Over, overdo it. Don't forget to filters. What do we need for that? Oh, I want to get to that technology at some point. Filters. Is this it? Amplification. Blue tech. What do we need for blue tech? Glass, advanced, sulfuric acid. So the one thing I don't have is sulfuric acid. That's iron plates, sulfur, and water. What about sulfur, water, and petroleum? Let's look at it's not too bad. Let's go do this. Water and petroleum. Before I do anything, I want to fix the where the train unloads. There's this like a uh, area where it doesn't unload properly. I want to put like, a bigger storage there. It's gonna need a lot of steel. Stones to extract faster than this. I'm gonna place more miners in between. Just want this to clean out as fast as possible. Then let's go grab some steel. This might be high time I make a factory mix this. My house is never know when you might need them. Sir. 
power doing? Just fine. Got 20 megawatts to spare. Perfect. Let's grab some more red belts. Unload all these yellow belts. Guess I can unload all of these too. That was that was blocked off. Must have been a reason or something. Might have just been me by accident. Sorry, I already fixed the copper yesterday. I completely forgot I've done that already. I said, did I fix my copper? But no, I did that already. So there's other thick lines coming in. I do want to put a big warehouse here where the where the stuff comes in. So then when they unload, I have plenty of storage. That's taken care of. Oh, there we go. Iron is finally 100% depleted. It only happened. Is utterly completely useless now. This line, this line is coming from. Looks like something messed up over here. iron before I even replace this. Was this actually iron? It was. Oh, that's the fix the line whenever they unload over there. That's right. Okay. Just in case. Cool. 
think the first thing I want to do is develop the steel things and steel gear because I don't have a factory for those. Then move on to the other stuff. Shouldn't take me that much of an effort. I'll just do four. No, just five more just to this right. Eight of each. Eight of each. built at all because we don't have steel things. Or it's just these two plates. I could send it there, but let's go ahead and replenish that. I also need the steel things. Actually once I do the steel gear and steel things I'll, I'll send all three of those things up there. Two are meant to be still be on the right, still gear here. I'm just keeping myself organized. So I guess I just make them here. Is there space at all? I guess up there, there's space. And they're both required the same, right? They just need yep, just two plates. Perfect. Belts, arms, factory. Well, technically, already making gear some yeah. here. But this is so small, I mean, it's only six, but we'll just make this official right here. And I'm obviously gonna need a lot more. Uh, or belts. I didn't bring enough belts for this. You can always fit the other one also back into the hub main bus. It doesn't hurt to have multiples either. Nothing. Wow. No belts, no power falls. Fully unprepared for this. Should be okay though. Gonna go unload some of the stuff that I don't need to carry. We only have six perch towers. Let's just fix them. Repair that. Right then, let's go ahead and drop all these. and grab some power poles and belts because I have nothing. Belts. Struggling for iron here, huh? Some power poles down here. Which I need to remember to bring steel beams to this because I, 
But as I'm making them right now, I gotta remember to grab them. Send in a wheel. That's the case, I might as well just go down. No, but then I can't go through this, can I? Let me see if this tunnel will go through this. Oh, I guess. Okay. Right. It makes more sense to go over here then. Still be. There's no one's in this there. There's there. There's there. Gonna be that's still over. This is gonna be a, a journey here. Power, we can gears. I'm 
think that was created yet. Did this happen? Yeah. I'm so confused right now. Copper cables come from. Huh? That's worse because I, I don't know where this was heading and how this came to be here. Oh, it was over. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. That's how that happened. I was using the exact same line. Very nice. Oh, well, that's just unfortunate. Let's have to put down one. Yeah, I was on the exact same line. So when I was sending it in, it merged with the others. Nice. To my own spaghetti. There we go. Fixed. Not a splitter. Still have. One. Just make one. I should grab some more splitters. I need that for that next beam so the looks like the canvas is done. Let's do gear wheels next. is getting bigger. Oh no. Nice factory making steel gears. Let's get to connect this. It's done.
not exactly the best factory in the world, but it's just a start. So you have a storage for it in the belts if you ever need them. Okay, so that's that. And let's go to do this stuff. We need glass, advanced circuits, blank deck cards, and sulfuric gas. For sulfur, I needed water and petroleum, which I do have down there. So. I could just grab this water down here. It's not like I need to put a lot of trees in this desert right here. Let's grab some trees and do that. Area here, get defeated. Perfect. To be faster than this, a lot faster. It was being the whole side here was being powered by this one power pole. <laughs> hey there, next time. Good morning. How are you? Wrong language. Let's go unload some of the stuff. today. Do I speak Spanish? No, I do speak Portuguese. I can understand a little bit of Spanish, but not enough to speak it. That should eat up some. Oh, look at that! It already immediately, immediate effects already eating up all that. This is my first attempt at a green factory. <laughs> I want to grab some uh, pavement to collect some of the biomass. There's a lot of biomass out there I need to collect. So first iron, iron stop. Is there a big difference in Portuguese and Brazil and Portugal? Yeah, the I can c 
kind of speak the two different accents if you want to hear the difference. Like in Portuguese, that we speak a little slower and more enunciated words. Say like, o gato subiu na parede. Now if you say in Portugal, it be o gato subiu na parede. Like they, they eat, they eat all the words. Like they eat the, the vowels. So in Brazil, the Portuguese is enunciated 100% where in Portugal, they eat most of the vowels and they, they just almost like they're swallowing the, the, the vowels unlike in Portuguese in Brazil in Brazilian Portuguese where they say it very calmly very slowly it's, it's strange but it is what it is right so let's get this done off oh, sharp sure. oh. everyone is high in Brazil <laughs> No. Everybody just like likes to take their time in Brazil, that's all. But it's high. <laughs> Which is very patient. There's like all those biomass patches that need to clear out because I think pollution gases and they still absorb pollution in counts. You do some Italian, but then they speak quickly in Italy. My grandma is yeah, Italian, was Italian, she left Mussolini's uh, role. So she's like, hey, authoritarian government, let's get the fuck out. That's what she did. <laughs> In contrast, my grandpa, which married my grandma, he was from Spain, and he left Franco's rule <laughs> to live in Brazil. And then my, on my dad's side, my my grandma was a descendant from Native Americans, Native South Americans, Indians, and my grandpa was Brazilian. Which in the end descended from Portugal. So there you go. Braz I have four different bloods: <laughs> Brazilian, Portuguese, Native South South Native American, Spanish, and Italian. It's a weird mix. The strong ones that was not killed by Spanish then? Yeah, well, remember, Brazil was colonized by Portu the Portuguese. So, gotta, gotta wonder how my grandma and my grandpa came to be. My grandma is still alive. Actually, they can't spawn there anymore now that they have this big thing that they need. Oh, I didn't have enough leaves, apparently. Oh, absolutely. Leaving Europe at that time was not a bad idea at all. <laughs> Agreed.
quick here. I can tell this is gonna go quick. Water is too already depleted. I'm just gonna go fix this. Oh, it bothers me when I see depleted mines just sitting there. Just gonna go finish that up, clean it up. Dixon, did you see all the leaks on the front, front Twitch yesterday? But people are leaking how much the top streamers make. I don't think I've ever felt so poor in my life. It's not time for you to pick a new language to butcher. Be contemplating Portuguese. Do it. Got somebody to practice all the time. <laughs> speaking Portuguese in the channel at all. Anything you can research or anything? Nope. Nothing you can research. Look at those numbers, but since they're more, we have no issue with money. Well, if you had to guess, Dexam, how much do you think that the top, let's say top 10, like just ballpark, how much do you think they make a year? Just ballpark. Actually had to guess like if he had to it was a bet or something he had to be like no the nine million a year <laughs> I never felt so poor in my life <laughs> nine million. Like the top three in Critical Role, XQC, etc. <laughs> God, they make so much money. If I made a, a 1,000 of that, I'd be perfectly fine. I'd be perfectly happy with 90k a year. That's that's a thousandth of it. <laughs> I'd be perfectly fine with that 90k a year. I'd be more than happy. Like I'll never need to, I'll never want for anything a 90k a year. Most money I ever made in a year in my whole life has never been even 40k, so like <laughs> all the different jobs I've worked, never even got close to that. Critical Role is the number one. <laughs> Not surprising, I mean, they're whole production, so. That's just on Twitch payouts. I mean, think about all the merch that they also make as well and all the YouTube money they make. They must be upwards of 50 million for sure. Like, without even breaking a sweat. Sure, <laughs> not even a question. Oh, 
Oh, that one needs fuel. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not using that one. But it was a like the fusion reactor stuff. Nope, it requires fuel. I'm not gonna bother to They didn't check out how much effort got to be put into a situation just to survive. You gotta find the right game to stream. All the fun stuff. You gotta spend 8 to 10 hours every, every week. Just looking at like new games coming out, doing some research all the time, which is kind of expected to be honest. But yeah, when your own business, you understand it's a lot of work. Oh, so you probably do just fine then. If you already did that. Circuit black tech cars and sulfuric acid, and I needed to make sulfur, which requires chemical plants, water, and petroleum. Than you guess here. Yeah. Need to get some pipes. You're doing fine. You could retire now if you wanted, as long as the economy doesn't crash. Is that okay. I definitely cannot say the same. Basically right now I got I got I got maybe a, a year and six months. If I don't make enough money in that time, I'm just gonna quit streaming because it makes no sense to continue. I'd much rather get a shitty job and not be homeless. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be really sad, but if I don't make enough money in a year and six months, I'm gonna have to just retire from streaming because it's not worth it. That's just life. I'm just hoping it doesn't come into that though. This last two months been pretty good on Twitch for me though. At the highest I've gone I've ever had this last uh, two weeks ago, so. If I can keep the same amount, I will be fine. If people think it's a competition, it's more like you, you, you're all working together. So people always just assume it's a competition on Twitch, you know, you're trying to prop each other up. So you always rate people with like very few, very few people, or sometimes a big streamer might help you out. It's, it's not a competition on Twitch. It's, it's all about who can you work with, so work together. The people who already think it's a competition are already not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, one more chemical plants than this then.
plates, which are right here. No, I got it. I got it. I understand. Right, there's only so many millions of people watching yet. <laughs> I get you. So I do. We're trying to just think of ways to like, just stay interesting while not completely losing your mind because. Most most of the streaming on, on Twitch just feels like, hmm, do you want to go insane today? <laughs> or actually just try to keep working? I, I don't know, it, it's hard to explain it. I don't know how to put it into words that does make you sound like a complete jerk. Sweet water and petroleum. So here is water. This mod needs power. You don't think you could stream as a job? Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to either. I'll try as much as I can. <laughs> I said I wanted to give it a serious try, so. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's up to find a job. I really hope it doesn't come to that because I'm gonna be really old. It's gonna suck a lot if that have to if it comes down to that. content but not gaming. Fair enough. So they all both on the same side here. Hang on, let me change this. It just, it just looks neater. Nope, I'm not gonna rely on somebody else to survive. My ex did that to me, I do not want to do that to somebody else. Sorry, I'm, I'm bitter when it comes to stuff like that, like, no, I, either I'm making it or I'm not gonna, I'm gonna work myself hard, I'm, I'm not gonna, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna let anybody pay for myself. I, I'm, I'm, I will work hard and make my, my own living. I do not want to live off somebody else. I 
Apex took a lot of advantage from um, off of me because of the stuff like that, and I did not want to. Did not want to do what she did to me to anybody else. Now this sounds like overly prideful, but nope, I do not want to do this to anybody else. I know how much that hurt me when she did that to me, so I do not want to do that to anybody else. I think when I was, I had a different job. And... This steel pipes can go a long distance. I like it. These pipes can go to three. Need some iron and water. I'm gonna need water here. Oh, I have to move this. I not think this one through. It needs water too. Yeah, same here, Dex. No, I cannot. I can't understand why somebody would just want to just work off the back of somebody else. I've never understand that. What's the point of it existing if you're not even contributing to society in any way, shape, or form? I get that Twitch is not the most glamorous of jobs, but I still feel like I'm trying to at least contribute to something. <laughs> over here. Which I am hoping I have enough lines of iron because I know I've been taking a lot of iron from that. Let's take that line right there at the bottom. get here is real. This is some top notch spaghetti right here. Oh. Oh, it's Shiny's Island. I think it's just gonna fall by itself because there's no resupply of ammo. So fortunately the area is gonna fall, but he, he, he was having fun with it. And when he comes back, I'll leave that for him to enjoy it. Okay, 
I don't know if I would ever be able to qualify as uh, lazy days as a medical condition. If you're lazy, you're just lazy. If you don't want to work, whatever. I mean, if there's a real reason, like say, like, like you, maybe you you're unable to work for like physical disabilities or mental disabilities, that's completely different. But just not working just for the sheer fact of not wanting to work, that is completely different. If it came down to it, I would just do whatever shitty job I can do just to... Just to make ends meet. Steel is the way to go for pipes, then. No, this is just water here. Can I upgrade it all to steam? Steel, not steam, steel. There's a difference, but you don't mind paying for even the least people with your taxes, so few of them anyway. So many jobs that still don't find ones. The few lazy can be lazy, let the others take jobs. That is needed for the blue science, which require lots of stuff. Let's get an assembly machine. Probably should make some level twos. Blue tech card. Uh, that is only because of this mod, this mod adds steel pipes, which apparently can carry pressure a lot long, longer than the iron pipes. Yeah, it's only because of this mod that they give, give this a, a small advantage. So I need to make more of these. I'm just gonna send this steel. Let's cave in and just bring this steel to... Where do I need steel plates? All the way up there. Go ahead and bring steel plates all the way there and steel beams all the way up there because we need both of those. So let's see, steel beam needs over here, right? Steel beam right here. Still being that I needed for this one. An 
how we can make those. Yay. Long distance traveling wires. Let's put a box right here. You know, with a lot of extra spaghetti with them on that? Oh, absolutely. It's just because of the pipes, though. But I'm not sure if it, uh, the belts are going to have much, many more different upgrades. I wonder if I can see here. No, I can't. I okay, cannot. It's, it's not that I can research this yet. Let's see what kind of belts I get. Wow, you get all the way to purple on this one. Yeah, you have blue, green, purple. Yeah, apparently there's three more tiers on this one. So yeah, the the belts can, the the belts are gonna have three three more tiers to this. That's amazing. <laughs> you like pasta? Very nice. I'm gonna get the other different colors in here, that's gonna be fun. I guess I could do something silly here. Let's grab some underground belts. Burning it just ran out. So whatever other belt I'm gonna, have to have, I'm gonna have to come in with yellow belts to bring this other two different decks. Ah, this is gonna be wonky. Can't wait to try it. I need some yellow belt, uh, yellow underground tunnels for this. Fifty-four, not that, not that bad. It's been like a month and a half only playing this. Wait a minute, I'm gonna need arms. That works. Let's see why it wouldn't. It's different colors, so it should. Right. Now, what did I was bringing steel. Let's go ahead and bring steel to the other side. I can just extend the steel line here all the way to the top. It's nice to have this nice stack of ammo here if I ever need it.
Just like the really trash in fact we're just gonna dump it. There's a place to dump stuff, so I'm gonna dump it. This place I need to steal is right there. I do have a shredder in the factory so I can get rid of trash. Which is what I'm about to do here in a second. So I need steel right here. I suppose I could have just come down here. Would have made more sense. I'll do that instead. to be made. How many did I need for this project here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I just need two more. Let's see how much this each of these requires. 50 sulfuric acid and that factor is producing how much per second? This. Do double. We'll do double. So give me two more. One more. Yep. And more arms. We can grab some of these. Some more of those. What does it take to make blue blue arms? Because I have not made those yet. Steel plate. Insert parts. Electronic circuits. Okay, okay, I can do that actually right here. Yes, like the perfect spot for it right there. Hmm. Right, one more factory, I guess. It just had to have. Was it was about time I needed one of those? So, like the mix, uh, mix blue arms. So it also needs inserted parts. Inserted parts require a lot of stuff, don't they? Just require these two things. Okay, I guess I can put that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in two of those. It goes into a inserted part. Inserted part goes into this thing and you make blue arms. You make inserter parts. Find it, there it is, inserter parts. You make iron sticks. You make iron gear. And there we go. Some electronics, which I can just grab it off this line. And I need some steel, which I can just grab off this line. And just like that, I have blue arms. So only fitting to deliver that to a box with a blue arm. Suppose I don't need the yellow arms anymore. Let's dump them back. Somebody ever needs them for any reason, I guess. That's so much quicker. Factories just make everything faster, obviously. Alright, so I need how many factories there? I need eight and two more, so I just need one more. Okay, 
No, let's go finish that. How many belts? I have 115. I'm gonna need a crap ton more than that. Let's go shred some of the junk I have. So I have some junk. So let's see here. So my armor is junk, junk that, junk that, junk. Junk that too, that's fine. Ordinary scissors can go. Just getting rid of some crap, that's all. like the the shredder area like this a factor that if anything is useful it goes back to the factory if it's not useful it goes to the shredder it gets the, destroyed it's my uh filter all the junk out of your inventory place because this stuff that i'm never gonna use it's i can put it in storage somewhere then one day i might use no just junk it just get rid of it just taking up space in your factory Not be a hoarder in this game. Okay, so we need glass, advanced circuits, and blank templates. Wait a minute, it can't, it can't deliver it. Well, this is gonna be fun to deliver it. It's gonna have to be red arms, I suppose. Yep. I have to rely on since I'm gonna come from this side because I do not have enough um, I don't have enough space on the side for this. Yep. I could change the pipes around here, but now I don't wanna do that. circuit and blank icons. Let's grab some advanced circuits. I know I have them over here. Yep, right there. Now, blank deck cards. Oh, it's fucking okay, static it can mix with something. Okay. 
So I'm gonna. So it uses, like if you see here, right? It uses 50, a lot of glass, but five tech, five advanced So I'm gonna mix advanced circuits and the blank tech cards together. This happened to have something made over here, so I can just hop it off of this. You can place the to the last figure, so oh yeah, is that any fun uh, combinations there? I still want to do a fanatical purifier run with uh, plants, just so I can get the radiotropic thing. It's so silly. Like every every planet you go to will pretty much be a uh, terraforming as a plant. It just seems weird. Alright, so now I need to bring glass over here. Glass. There is glass. Very conveniently just right here. That's gonna have to go here. We've been trying to reach specific production goal by a set date. We need to be so start for it. Fifth time we can really start next to exterminators. Oof. You sure you don't have any of your uh, remade species forced to spawn? Because that would do it. You like to spawn your custom made empires next to you. Double check on that. So you don't have any custom yet, because you have not played a long time? Gotcha. The looking? The brink. Why don't you go play some more wind tunnels now? Oh, are we finally not getting enough glass here? Or did I screw something up here? Why am I getting any glass at all now? Something's definitely screwy over here. Throw my glass. Oh yeah, now this just, just won't do anymore. It's gonna be some gonna need some serious sand upgrading here. Fantastic. It's about time. I guess we need more stone. Let's send more stone all the way to the top. Which is good because I'm trying to get rid of all the stone down here, so once that runs out we have to find a deposit. 
this will definitely drain this stone a lot faster. Actually, will it? against the main hub, this is gonna go well. Fun guy sounds fun. Yeah. Hello, I'm calling. Hey, going out, sis. Go out, sis. Uh, radio, I was gonna do a uh, radiotropic fanatical purifiers so that whenever you because you you gonna terraform the planets right I get a Armageddon bombardment the planets you evade so they become tomb worlds so that you can get a you can get the benefit of your species which they thrive in tomb worlds so there you go you can even make it post-apocalyptic start so that you already start in a tomb world it's just silly overall This is definitely not getting enough iron here. That's not good. Good fire, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. The Empire. One more day to the weekend. You got it. How's it going? Looks like we had a few subs dropping off today because of the. Because last month I learned there was a lot of gifted subs, so the, the sub count is dropping because there's a lot of people who left. But I'm just doing this part here, bro. That splitter there was wrong. Yep, just let that start to fall off. I'll have to clean that later. Um, what was I doing? Make here for a reason. Why do I come back here? I was grabbing you underground notes, right? Which I already did. So let's drop some yellow tunnels back here. And then let's go drop this stone back into the main hub here that needs some love. Hello. Oh, hey, Shiny. Good morning. 
Mind if I hop on? Of course not. Come on in. I can play for a while. Everything all right? It sounds so good. Yeah, I'm just very tired. Sorry. Didn't get a lot of good sleep. I uh. I uh finished leveling Paladin, and now I have to do Dark Escape. So I have to clean out my inventory of all these low-level armor sets. Hmm. That I've been storing to level up other classes. So that's why I'm just like, I was up till like midnight. Huh. Blech. Ooh, looks like we're running completely out of stone. Shiny, you might have to go get a mining. I have to get a, a a stone deposit for me if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Why not? Are we? Are, I remember you said something about not doing any logistic robots. You're correct. Or something. Yep. Okay, so we're only talking about. Oh, oh belts and trains. Okay. Lots of trains. Well, we're gonna need a lot of stone then. Is my reserve still there? It's there. It's, um, I don't have a radar there, so I don't know what's going on, but it's been attacked a few times. Oh no. Hopefully there's enough ammo there to hold them, to keep the population under control. Okay, definitely. I should probably put a water thing behind it just in case. I, mean, I don't have anything supplying ammo there too, so once those turrets run out of ammo, that's it. <laughs> Alright, Chad, are you ready to watch me die? There's no way you're gonna die. <laughs> Where there's grenades, there's a way. You have proof for how to get straight usually against your policy, but they see how much money they get from it. Yeah, it's, it's Twitch. Can't argue with Twitch's logic. Wait, what was I doing? I was doing something. Yeah, guys, uh, there's also plenty of biomass to collect if you want to collect some biomass. Do we research the thing once you pick it up, or do we still need sacred stone? <laughs> you still need the sacred stone. Where's a stone deposit? There's one right there, there's one right there. There's plenty of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to fully mine one and just put, like, put miners and belts, you just equally mine it. You can take a look at the where I'm, you see the iron on the bottom right? You can see mine it like that. So, like there's a two space in between each miner. And each you go to like a filter belt or like that, so that is evenly distributes all the income from it. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do something. Yeah, while you do that, I will set up a train that goes, uh, which iron deposit, stone deposit would you go for? Um, I'm trying to see which one's like, in a good, like, logistically gonna be easy to get stuff to. Um, uh, how about the one southwest inside our walls already? Yeah, I was gonna think that because, like, it would be easy enough if that one runs out. There's one kind of close by where we could easily just pick that yeah, up. Yeah, and you might have to grenade some of the, the trees around that you completely mine it, which I'm sure you're gonna dread that. I will get get a train set up that goes there while you do that. Okay, just just need to do some. What the hell is a jackhammer? I haven't made one yet, but it looks like it's easier to re easier to remove stuff with. Oh, uh, creep collector. Uh, there you go. Drag and drop uh, the tool over there to collect it. Okay, that's that's easy. Literally good harvest biomass, I, I love it. Biomass. Yes. So I'm gonna need, I need iron real quickly. I'm gonna make a radar and just slap it up there so I can just see what's going on on my nature preserve. I need to bring power there too. 
I mean, eventually, I have some. Eventually, I just want to expand up top too. So if you wanna, there's also a, a, I'll, I'll just mark where I want to expand to. So if you wanna have an adventure later once you finish this stone thing. I have I have an idea. I'm trying to do this without cheesing it out and making lakes divide, dividing everything. I purposely want to, because it's already easy enough as it is. It doesn't. It, we don't need to cheese it with water. I can understand it for biter preserves and everything, but I don't want to just make it cut it off with water and then just take it over because that's that's not fun at all. It's it's already unfair to the aliens how much all the mods we have running, but. So you see I have expedition plan, expedition plan 2 and 3, so I basically want to conquer that entire northern section and just wall those those intersections there, you see what I mean? Yes. And if you could envelop that rare metal speak batch, right? Oh, ba what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically have some windmills and some power lines to where that reserve is. I'm essentially just going to like build up forward base radar. Okay. So it's like we have some vision out there. Alrighty. As well as it's a, it's a base of power, we can kind of build off of. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna get the train started. Let's get some rails. Lots of rails. Trains is not a problem. Dang, I wasn't just having something. How many train tracks I have? There's like 7,000 as far as okay, I guess we're good on, on the right train tracks. <laughs> and the reason I need uh, stone. Stone goes into the crusher and becomes sand. And then sand turns into glass because we are very short on glass at the moment. <clears throat> and that is hurting our new blue tack research that I just added into the system. Buying the new Far Cry game? Probably not. I never played any of the Far Cry games. I have zero interest in them. Not my kind of game at all. Unfortunately, is your interest on that one. What's right here? Oh my god. I'm just gonna go harvest some biomass. Wow, I got so lucky sending the technology over to the the labs. I, I'm like, I'm just gonna go down this line, and I accidentally landed exactly next to the line that I had started for the blue labs. Like, I didn't even have to adjust the belts; it ran perfectly on it. That's never gonna happen again. That was just stupid luck right there. Oh. Man, this tool is really useful. The creep collector? Hmm? Now, if you do see some tunnels near the labs, I would ask you not to not remove it, because it's actually there for a reason. 
the yellow tunnels. So they're supposed to be a, a grade lower because that's how you can overlap red and yellow tunnels together. Okay. Search first. How about some reinforced plates? I don't know. If that's what I'm so don't want. Oh, there. That's better. First thing I want to research is that. That. We have a whole vi we have vision up here now. I see it. Also, biomass has been collected. Already. Get a shower and start making some food. Just then, the lady gets some already. You like the first two far cries? We'd lost interest in them. Not at maximum efficiency, but it works. Okay. These things don't generate a lot of power. I just saw how much ammo we have on those towers. That's gonna last for the next 80, uh, 800 hours. We have enough ammo there to last for the next rest of the game, pretty much. I see your fighters on the islands are still alive, somehow. Yeah. Oh, there's a big fighter that you could potentially collect with water up top if you get close to it. You see it? It's a potential one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be very careful with that one. And a small biter that you can collect too. There's a small and a big one. You already have two medium ones, but if you wanted to collect the small and the... I would like to, yes. I already have two mediums. The danger is the spitters. That and the big ones aren't getting close. You should try to collect the, the spitters too. They just run down and get shot by the turrets. Yep. Oh, good luck with that. I'm gonna go set up the train track for stone. I'm gonna get engines. Grab some engines. Right. Thank you for stopping by, Dexam. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Excuse me. I think that one through quick. So far. One, two, three, four. So I do need stone. Bit of places yeah, in no, the station is that one, I suppose. And I do have miners in the mall if you need electric mining drills. You don't have to make those by hand at all. Fire my shotgun at you, damn it. Having way too much fun with this, I love it. Come on, big one. They're literally just out of range. Aww. I can't, like, aggro them. You know, you do have a sniper rifle, don't you? Material rifle. No, I don't. I could actually build one right now. There you go. I can build a flame throw. You have the technology. <laughs> Do you want to just set the whole place on fire now? No, but I would like to burn some forests down. Complete my evolution of eco-terrorism. Remember, this is a green run. 
I never agreed to that. Look at how good the pollution is. It's actually getting out of hand. I need to plant more trees. That's... Mostly it's expanding in the desert areas. There's just this, there's also like a huge amount of forest and grass over here, so I think we'll be okay. I need ammo for this thing, which I can't make because I need coal. Oh Where's no, the coal deposit? Coal. I'm gonna go hand mine some coal to make a sniper rifle. Oh wait, hold on. gonna go through here all the way there. Ugh, it's gonna be a long trip. There's some stone right there too. That might be easier to be honest. Triple five million. And it's a bigger deposit. Alright shiny. Um uh, actually changed my mind on this stone. We need a southeast one. It makes more sense. Okay. Hold on, to get to the coal, I have to kill my- I have to fight my way through some nests. Yep, our ammo is a little better now, because I have upgraded since last time we came. Shine's gonna die here. If he's dead. The biter's gonna kill him. Or not? Wow, look at him. Why wanna heal up, Shiny? I did some damage. I think I'm near the coal. Hey look, oil! Oh, crap, I'm getting... Just go down the same path. Let's do it. Train signals. Train signals. Just not use this, uh, uh, they just turn in this track. They don't even share the same train track, but where's the fun in that? Let's just keep this, use the signals, it's perfectly fine. Sorry, that was my dad calling. He's uh, going to Europe for a long while. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> my parents just came back from Europe. 
is um his uh his girlfriend um her mother is going into surgery and it's like she might not be able to walk again if this doesn't work jeez so like it's a lot so he's go she's going there and he's going there to help her Sorry, you're done. It's terrible. Damn it. Damn it, my reach isn't great enough. Curses. My own moat foiled. My own waterfill has doom has turned against me. Hmm. Literally will just keep killing themselves because this is apparently the fastest way to get to me. Because it's the only land bridge. <laughs> Alright, well, this um, creep collector actually works pretty well. That's good to hear. My cat is licking himself behind me. How you doing, Bo? Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. I have my own cat, apparently, with me. Alright, let's see. Where was that stone you said? Southeast. Southeast. Oh, that's the one I thought you were talking about. That one to the right? Yeah. This coal deposit seems almost dead. Oh, really? Yes, yep. Yeah. One is about to go. Oh, you're going to the south. You're going bottom left. I'm on the bottom right. Oh, that one. Okay. I thought we were talking about this one because it's like, well, if this one runs out, we already have, we can just easily extend the infrastructure right out there because it's a second deposit. That'll be next time, but for now, as far as the trains are concerned, it makes more sense. Look, I've already started the train going that one to the east. I'll just give him to grab more okay. landfill. Just, it'll be a lot easier for now. Eventually, we'll extend the train to go around all the way there too, but... There's also, there's a coal deposit right here we can also really easily hook up. It'll just require moving the belts. Yep. The coal is like we're barely even using any coal, so I'm letting that deplete completely before I add another one. Do 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 do
ist das? There we go. That's better. Much better. There we go. Less dark spaces in our base. Where was that stone? Find it. Okay, still got a long way to go. It is so much easier to clear on grenades. I love it. I mean, termite was pretty good too. True. Grenades are more fun because there's an extra risk of you grenading yourself. I mean, that's my favorite part, blowing myself up. I'm already down to half health. That's copper, by the way. I need this stone. Oh, I know. I'm just clearing this out because I have a feeling we're going to inevitably need this, so I might as well do it now, and I need to clear inventory space because I have so many grenades. Fair enough. I'm actually full inventory. Uh, you might want to replace those power poles, too. I will be. I don't like the belts being on which would be seen. <laughs> yeah, because I keep blowing some of them up. Aww. Do you have those electric mining drills with you or no? Yeah, I have a few. Oi, that's my thing. You're blowing up my things. Look too long.
Nice to clear, clear a lot of space further south. I need all in their big area for the train to stop. There you go, I, I marked what I need cleared. Remember? I'll, I'll never forget the giant, long adventure tunnel I had was just termites. Oh, uh, that was fun. <laughs> so much fun. Does for me. It's good, Thank you. I right, decided progress. This grenade blows up half of the nature. Think of all the endangered the species we could be killing. Mentioned something. Mentioned this yet last time. Uh, question. Yeah. Would you ever want to try some endless space? Like, uh, not endless space. What's that? You used to say you played it with your friends, but it will always turn into basically fighting through the Magino line all the time. Um, I'm not sure which one you mean. Might have forgotten about it. I can't remember. I, I, uh, hold on. Let me just. I'm just gonna do alt tab. Uh, what is it? Uh, Sins of the Solar Empire. Oh uh, yeah, that one just always turns into a shit show. <laughs> well, do you, do you instead of like PvP, do you want to try like PVE and just like have some fun with it one day? Yeah, you could go then. I mean, that one is good for alliances for sure. Yeah, just, it just. It, be something different, something fun. I did not bring enough containers for this. Well, I'm, I'm just grenading because I need to clear out inventory space and I have too many grenades. Belts are getting in my way. Stop that. to clear out one inventory space. So, hold on.
Well, that did a lot. Red belts. Yeah, I have I have seven nine. Uh, do you see how I did this one line to the bottom? Do the second line to the second, the third line to the third, and the fourth line to the fourth. Do you see it? Connecting in. Do you see? Under, you get what I mean there? Yeah. Okay, so this connects down to here. Yeah, but go as far, go as quickly down as you can because we're gonna need two more lines coming in. So go as a sharp. There you go. You got it. No, of course, I just ran out of miners. I just needed one more, and I just ran out. I'm out of reds. I have yellows, but that's it. I'll go grab some. Place the last miner there if you don't mind. I have six. So apparently you cannot use lumber cars like you can in the base game in this one. You actually have to use fuel on the cars. It's crazy, right? That makes sense. On the trains too. Nice. We can the journey home. It's not that far. If you go immediately west, it's the shortest path. The steel pipes in this, they can go twice as long as the, the underground pipes with iron. It, 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 like, it goes so much farther away, it's ridiculous. It makes yeah, it a lot less seen. smooth now. I would like Jet to know I have built a flamethrower. Amazing. And I will attempt to make flamethrower ammo later. Chemical. Oh, we have electric furnaces now, that's something. I just researched them. Where is it? Chemical. Flare stack. Burns any fluid, releasing a large amount of pollution, and occasionally some byproducts. Okay. I need to build a chemical. You want to finish belting that stone factory for me? Um, I don't have the belts. Yellows. Right, I'll go do it then. I'm gonna fill the train instead of coal. I'm gonna use coke. Makes more sense, I think.
is a burnable fuel after all. Where's our oil going? I want to try and make this stuff because flamethrowers are pretty good for clearing out nests. Nests, sure. No, not until I just want to have it because they're useful for tur flamethrower turrets are apparently really useful. And, oh, that's a car. I thought it was a radar that was being powered. Oh, God. Do I even want oh, to no. drive a car? No, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, you can't... Oh, wow, there's... There's a grid on this car? Okay, that's interesting. Biomass. You found the spot there to drop it off? Yep, I found the box. So what is this stuff producing? It's producing uh, biter research data. Talking about Shane? Wait, that's Coke. I'm trying to figure out something. I mean, there's perfectly balanced. We're, we're just not making an, we're not making any military tech at the moment because we're we researched everything that we could. So it's actually correct that it's not using it. Oh, okay. So what's the next thing we need? Uh, let's see. So I just heard I just did the blue. Uh, I need a. Do you see how I did the iron the drop off the jelly central station? I might I don't have a radar. If you want to plop a radar there first, so we can see it. That's how I want to make the drop off here for the stone depo deposit. The stone drop off. What I'm doing right now is bringing coke all the way to the train drop off. Yeah, sure. Get a radar up there. I'm gonna need some iron real quick. There's also an area that needs clearing because uh, that used to be our old steam power area that needs to just be completely removed and cleaned out. But it's just not much, it's just this little belt that's just in the middle of nowhere doing it nothing. Which is exactly where I actually I can just do this right now. I'm here. There are trees in the way of this bay in this base and it bothers me. But well, that's because that's how our pollution is keeping in check. Mm -hmm. So wait, this is Alright, so that's right next to this. Is there anything actually built here? Shiny, what you're doing? You're killing the trees to put in your base. I thought you wanted me to clear this place no, out. No, I don't. Oh. I just wanted to put your radar there because I want you to just see what how I set that up because that's how I wanted to do the unloading for the core I am. 
Well, there's no room. We still, we'd still have to clear the trees. Oh, you're gonna have to plant a lot more trees to make up for all the destruction you did. I will. I'm gonna go plant them outside. But they need to be in the pollution area so it eats the pollution. The pollution is literally all down where we're building this new thing. I'm gonna slap a bunch down all in that desert area. There's just nothing out there. There we go, now we can see. Two hundred trees. Alright, first thing I need is you see those meeting containers? I, I need you to make me six of them in a warehouse. I need six meeting containers and two warehouses. No, a warehouse. Six what? Medium containers in a warehouse. It's right there in the train. See those containers? I need six of those medium containers and a warehouse. Alright, I can make four and a warehouse. Okay, so if you can make four, uh, you, you're gonna need to bring three of them where the stone area is, where we started, and just need to load it up. The same matter. Well, I'm gonna wait for this to finish so I can just copy this whole thing. Sort of a blueprint to put somewhere. I, I the big thing is I need to know where the tracks actually are going. What do you mean? Like, if I'm copying this, where 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 exactly am I placing it? Oh, I I did that already. I'm I'm confused. Look, look where I am. I just did the unloading first. You see it the same way? Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. All right. I'll be right over then. And then you're pretty much going to copy that, and I'm going to make the belt that you deliver it to, pretty much. Yeah, do exactly what we did there on that little portion, and I'm going to take the stone over there, and I'm going to go finish the stone deposit at the at southeast. There is the medium, uh, the warehouse and the medium containers. Oh, you don't want to build it? Oh, no, I'm, I have to go plant trees. Okay. Plant where you see red. I don't see, oh wait, let me turn on pollution. Oh! Not too bad. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in, over there in that corner for some reason. You ever notice we're always surrounded by just barren desert? Yep. This one we started in the forest, oh. though. Yeah. I see an island. That's a future friendship island right there.
at you making the train tracks pretty. I keep running into trees and I just want to use a grenade. <laughs> you can go around them, you don't have to go through them. This bothers me so much, you have no idea. Stones connected. Is that not connected to anything? It's not have power. Oh, is that not connected? No, that is connected. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. That doesn't have power. That one does. Okay, I just haven't connected these. To find a problem that there isn't one. Load all this to this bus. Okay, what is Immersite even used for? Oh, hey, Tesla coils. Those are wacky. Doesn't work on trains. Come on, this should work. This is burnable fuel. Why can't I not use this in this? Stupid thing. Of course you could. Just being dumb. Or enrichment. Okay, that's a thing we can do. Wait a minute. I just broke it down. Hold on. Okay. So I need to finish this anyway. I just oh, I have done I've done this right over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just two, looking one. at all these things. Yep. Lithium processing. Air purification. That's kind of what I wanted to go towards at some point. Store used pollution filters, dirty water, which dirty water can be it's used like to one. make ores. So one. Uh, Bari mineral extractor. Two, three. Rare metals. Six, seven, the eight, hell is eight, rare eight. metals? You extract them straight up from the deposits. There are some rare metals on the map. There's some up top that we need to conquer. There's Rare metals. Yeah, 
you see the ones at top? Can you just unconquer? We have an extra deposits, just like coal or iron. Oh, right there. Okay. We could probably go up there and build something right now. Because apparently we need... Because, uh... If I'm reading this... Where was it? Damn it, I can't find it anymore. Next to this. Here. Oh, we need purple. We need purple science, which is uranium. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's going to take a while. Yep. Um, we're getting late. Okay. Factor that makes these. I'm using a lot of these now. I didn't do that. It's tedious. We need this. Is this shit? What are you doing? Oh, it's empty. Because I didn't power it. I'm a moron. So it's actually doing its job correctly. I'm the one yelling at the clouds. Idiot. Now it's loading with my wood fuel. See here, I could really mix this. This makes sense. Is it? Time? Uh, Eastern time is 10 55 a.m. Alright, I might hop. I still want to get. I still have some stuff I gotta do. I gotta get to the gym and I'm breathing my day off, so. Okay. I think I'll try to be here for like another hour, hour and a half before I hop off. 
At least we'll try and get these rare metals set up. Alrighty. Time to clear some trees. Ooh, this is all sparkly. Now oh, there's some trees in the way. Man, it's a good thing explosives don't damage ore deposits, otherwise we'd be in serious trouble. Right? Someone in the comments section that informs us it does. Oh, you created it yourself? I wasn't looking at my health, I was thinking about thinking about uh, the uh, the conspiracy theory that uh, has reemerged from Animaniacs that genders are, are created by big bathrooms to sell more bathrooms. Okay. Yeah. That was uh that was a line from the new Animaniacs that apparently it just kinda huh? took off and now people believe it's a real conspiracy. Uh, the internet never changed. What's the saying about the internet? The greatest thing about the internet is that everyone can share their opinions. The worst thing about the internet, everyone can share their opinions. Yeah. Unfortunately, don't work towards the trains to catch the arms, but that's okay. Why right, do we have substations now? Mm -hmm. So, you're gonna secure that rare metals right now, right? That you, you're building outside our walls. Yup. I got plenty of water fill. Ugh, no cheesing. I'm not gonna cheese it. Like building water is automatically cheesing. We placed the, we picked up the water mod just to like make parks and stuff. We didn't want to cheese it to make big fences with it. Oh, I was just gonna use it to make it like a forward to fit. To, I'm not gonna cover it completely. It's gonna cover one side. Now I'm just gonna have to blow up a bunch more trees. This is just effective wall this is just effective tree clearing. Why am I dying so much? Did we research more powerful explosives? Maybe. This was, it's gone now. He goes a stone. The original stone just ended. Oops, I need to put those trees down. Let's replant those. I'm still laughing at the land, at the free hugs landmines. Mm -hmm. That makes me chuckle. I think after playing the death roll, every map just feels easy, you know? So this one I'm actually trying to learn how to create main buses and be organized and stuff. Honestly, I feel like once we get logistic robots, the game gets a little too kind of like, oh, we just slapped down these boxes, we don't actually have to start thinking about where we're going to place this stuff. Yeah, which is why I'm not choosing how to use robots in this run at all.
I had uh, one of my players point something out to me that I just laughed at. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that if you look at the Tarrasque in D&D, it has spikes on its back, which hints that the Tarrasque had a predator of some kind. Huh. Never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, and I said, given how old the Tarrasque is supposed to be, uh, it's essentially supposed to be, like, something from the Primordial Universe, when, you know, it was just lawful versus chaos, good and evil didn't exist yet, and neutral wasn't even a concept yet. Mm -hmm. um, it's supposed to be a creature from back then. So, you can think, anything you can imagine could have existed that could have hunted that thing. Yep. In my next campaign, that's, that's going to be the absolutely in-game boss for my, my players, because they're going to a Jurassic World. That has been, being, people have just been dumping species in this planet to be rescued, and they keep forgetting about them, and the players are awakening there, <laughs> because their plan was about to blow up, but they got dumped there too. No. I have five drills. This is, I guess, this will work. Oh, I learned something kind of interesting about Africa. Oh, yeah? Well, yesterday. Um, that there are African countries that actually ban the import of, like, donated clothes from the U.S. Huh. Because in countries where, like, they would go, they had clothes, they had industry, they had people who made clothes, and it was, like, a, a domestic industry. Mm hmm and like donated clothes basically killed that industry. Wow. So it's why developing African countries don't want clothes from developed countries because it's basically it ru it ruins a domestic industry that they usually have already set up. There's also some that say like the, most of the stuff that gets uh, donated to Africa gets stolen from like uh, warlords, things like that, in certain, some countries. So it also destroys yep. their uh, chances of survival too. Yep. There's there's a definite argument to be made about like how we actually help these people, because if you like, oh, well, we're going there to build schools, well. You know, oh, well, the government then doesn't have to do it, so it can just keep stealing money. Did you know there's an entire industry built around people who go on vacation in Africa just to feel good about themselves, that they're doing good for the world? And people profit from that, too. Because, you know, the world is already a shitty place, so let's go ahead and make it shittier. So that's your joyful moment for today. Isn't it just this whole oh, human are so human... despicable? You know that we really are the space orcs. We really are.
gonna make more things to crush just to get rid of this trash faster. Just build a gate up here. Let's plot it right here. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go around that. They call, they call donated clothes thinking Kenya dead uh, dead white people stuff. Wow. Yeah, because I mean it basically is. Mining requires fluid. Oh, it requires chlorine. Okay, I have to pump these guys chlorine. But we do not oh, have dude. chlorine. How do you make chlorine? Down the rabbit hole you go. Here we go, not again. Rocks. I can make huge rocks. Water and sand. How do you make sand? Stone and a crusher. I need. Okay, so this is gonna. Be I already have sand on the main bus. You just pull off a line of it. Just in case, I'm just gonna do this thing really quickly because I have a feel. Just in case this gets attacked. Hurts. Take your time, jelly friend. Take your time. Rush whatsoever. Seven handguns on me. Throw into the trash. The trash. Where's the trash? That's where I am. Just underneath. Uh, I'm gonna try and figure out how to do. Just underneath where it says hi. That's there's like a box. You dump it here. Okay. Right. 
so I need to get chlorine. So let's see. That's gonna be annoying. Can I do this like around here? Are there any stones? What do you need for Ghost. for chlorine? So so what you need for chlorine is so to get chlorine, you need to do water electrosis, which means you get hydrogen, but you also get chlorine. And you need you need water and sand. Okay, I will So I already have a thing of water that's producing water fill right here. Okay, I will bring you a line I of need... sand up there then. Great. Can I even build a electrosis plant? No. glass. How many of those do you need? Like four or six? I would say what I'm gonna I'm just trying to get this thing started. I'm bringing you six then. No. I'm gonna throw this place. Oh, okay. I just happen to have six on me, so there you go. Okay. Okay, jelly friends. There's jelly friend. Where is high? Because I have a bunch of junk. Uh, before I do that, I have a bunch of trees. Nice try, train. <laughs> it's like the first time ever that I've tried to be an organized factory, and I'm so proud of this factory so far. How clean and organized yeah, it is. Well, once we get to that situation where it's like, okay, how do we actually make this work? Okay, here's here's sand. I'm bringing sand over. Don't worry. Okay, well, there's sand coming. There's sand going. To, oh. Like it might confuse. There we go. So I'm bringing, I'm bringing the sand. Please don't modify the factory. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to find more steel work.
Good evening, Walker. Good morning. That's your noon. Good evening. Sorry, I'm trying to find steel plates. I swear <laughs> I just keep walking by them. What you looking for? Looking for steel beam? No, steel plates. I have... Uh, southeast. I'm gonna need them to make pipes. Because I'm gonna need them to go a journey. I'm gonna need this chlorine to go on a journey. I got plenty of steel pipes on Yeah, but I would like to actually build this myself. Okay. There's some steel pipes made uh, in a factory southeast as well, if you want to grab some of those. There's like a mini factory there, just in the, just where you dropped the biomass, there was like a place that makes steel pipes in corners if you want to grab some of the bots. I'm just gonna drop the left all of these plants here and let you finish this project. Thank you. Not really. Call what you wanted. I just called him Zerg. There's Zerg. They retook this area right here. This one is filling up nicely. See the deposits are drained. This one is not drained. What was it? I was looking at some deposits that were completely drained. Was it iron? Over oh, here, there's some. Bring that out. Hey then. Make sure this sand got there. Just get in there. Something that's fucky. Ah, of course. Alright, so I haven't. I thought I connected the sand for you, but I'm missing one tunnel one I forgot somewhere. I'm gonna go fix that for you right now. But you got sand and your electrolysis plants up there whenever you're ready to finish your project. Right there. Huge storage tank. Look at those are gonna be very useful. Steel pump. 
I'm just looking at all these other things that I've never seen before. Yeah, this tube pump helps if the, the pressure of the liquid doesn't get far enough so that you can use that to push it a little forward or a little forward. Like if sometimes it gets stuck halfway through a pipe because it's not getting enough pressure. But I haven't seen become yeah. a problem in this game yet. Until you get your nuclear power. Speaking of. Well, you're pretty... Okay, I have to get the water all the way down here then. Sand should be getting through that belt very soon. It'll take a second for it to get there. Yep, Sand made it all the way up there. It just took a minute. Nice chunks of sand coming in. Okay, here it comes. I, I'm gonna have to use iron pipes because I didn't bring enough steel. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem for something that small. Watch me after the next piece because I haven't made one of those with iron beam, iron gear, and transport. Gear and transport belts. To make, uh, let's see, so I need iron bean, iron gear. I transport bells, need iron plate, iron gear. this. This just makes more sense to do it this way. Uh, I just need gear and gear.
Let's make its own separate line who gives a shit. So much of this stuff in here. to make the red ones what I need for that. That one with fast transport belts, I mean here. Okay, that might be a little more difficult. Or not, that's actually not that bad. Not that bad at all. Okay, we are officially producing flowering. My real question is, is that for this? This is making enough that I can actually just plop more off of it. So, if that's the case. right there. Take iron gear. Iron gear right there. You see the, the red belts. We should make red belts. We need iron gear and yellow belts. That's what I wanted. Wait, no, I need red belts. I need red belts first. That's what I need the other factory for. Does one of those creep collectors last a long time, or do you have this? Is it consume it over time as you use it? Um, I used it and it doesn't show any durability. Okay. I I I mean maybe eventually it'll just break or something. I don't know. I feel like it's time for me to clear that north part and just go expand it, secure the whole thing. Yeah, the north shouldn't be too hard. There is that big uranium deposit up there, too. 
Now, again, if we had some boats, we could just make a canal and build a mine up there and ship it down. It's going pretty good down. Much left. With five million. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. All right, I need more pipes. I'm heading the way. Do you want me to bring you some? Oh, sure. I'm using iron pipes because I didn't have enough steel, but... Oh, I only yeah. got steel, so we'll bring you steel. Uh, that, that'll be... It, I need to replace these things at some point. Also, to protect the assets, I built a secure... I built a secondary wall, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know, fill this place with landmines. Well, um, with my, like, if you look at my expansion planner, <laughs> that's where I'm going right now. threat to the stability of the ecosystem. Hmm. Probably do some flare stacks where you're, you're making the chlorine, huh? Because otherwise the chlorine is just not gonna yeah. it's gonna stop at some point. Yeah I know. Right now I'm just trying to get the chlorine I... to them and then I'm gonna build a huge storage tank and just store all the the other stuff in there because that way Oh, yeah, that'll work. What's the... what is this belt here for? So this is where all the ores will come out of. Okay. Compass is like copper as well, it makes sense. Gotta get started somewhere, so I'll start over here. And here they go, and here come the raw, rare ores. Yay. Gun turrets. God damn it. Oh, gotta walk back to the base. Oh, you can't just replace them. You have to individually place them to replace these pipes. Yep. I mean, pressure to be. It should be fine. It's just traveling a long distance. I'm not, I think, long term. It's actually better. Mm -hmm. You might want to get some uh, four flare stacks to burn the hydrogen into the atmosphere. Is that safe? Well, who cares? Can I even build those? Need some steel plates. Which I don't have. 
Do we? Why are we gonna need hydrogen for anything? Not at the moment. So burn it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need steel plates and iron. Yeah, I need steel and iron plates. But right now, I just want to upgrade this stuff so the stuff reaches it a lot easier. Because at some point, that chlorine is gonna run. Uh, it's not gonna be able to produce any because the hydrogen output is gonna be full, so it doesn't produce anymore. Our power is on the cusp of being a problem. Blue is not producing enough, of course, because we're not getting enough of what? <laughs> it's glass. Oh my god, it's glass that we're not making enough. I'm also not making enough glass to satisfy the, <laughs> the blue research, so I need to fix that too. I guess that expansion plan can wait. Gotta fix the glass. get iron plates so I can burn off all this extra stuff. Uh, it's gonna fix the glass. glass. I should soak up some of that pollution there. So glass, glass needs some help here. Oh, they're not getting any fuel. That explains a lot. So 
what happened here. That's because they don't have fuel. Yep, I just fixed that. Oh god, there's so many trees here. Ugh, it's so hard to do anything. Yep, I literally just fixed that. Oh, so I see you're starting to expand the stone. Suddenly, sent that was like a, a waste of material, it's not being used for everything. It's good, stone is usually such like a wasted material that never gets used for anything. Definitely need some faster unloading. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Sense should be a lot better now. Much better. Still could be better though, let's improve that. It's not glass is an issue. It's all about. We can put electric furnaces, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna start upgrading electric furnaces. It's time. Let's make a factory that makes this because I do not want to make five million on this by hand.
Okay, so that's not gonna work. For super insane steel plate, stone brick and dry circuits. And that's kinda convenient here, the stone and steel plate can take it off from here if I wanted to. So I will. Shoddy baby job here. Yeah, it's getting water and sand a lot quicker. There we go. That's what it's trying to do. All I need is to bring a lot of advanced circuits over here. out of tunnels there. Oh no, I never had any to begin with. I thought that would make it through. Oh, that is just a mixture of tunnels, isn't it? I mean, it's a mixture of metals. That's kind of cool. I think I'm wonder. So now I have like the chlorine going at a much faster pace because now it's actually getting the sand in a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. and the water so this is now at basically the best productivity i can get it uh the chlorine is at a decent flow mm -hmm. i could pro i can easily extend this to make more though at that point i'm probably going to need more pumps so it's only holding it's only producing two uh let's see so rare metals are oh they're just raw rare metals smelted and anything so I guess I should get some furnaces. Do you have any electric furnaces? She's just making the factory that makes them right now, as a matter of fact. Oh, hey, Jelly. Hello, I'm Jelly Brand. Here, make some trains. Okay. So I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna smelt them up here. Okay. Down. What are you, are you smelting the rare metals? Yeah, I'm gonna smelt the metals here, and then I'm gonna send them down. So what do they turn into when you smelt them? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Where is it? That's like a... uh, raw rare metals. Uh, raw rare metals are turned into rare metals when you uh, put them in a furnace. Okay. Um, where's all the real things? Uh, right there. South. Ah, 
Perfect. Storage for it. We have a few of them storage. We have a small number of rail. I'll try not to use it all. <laughs> There's literally enough to wallpaper the world. Yep. Coming down to you, no virtue. Okay. I also need to pick up more stone. Can I get deliver this elephant? We were out of stone. I had to make a train to go grab more stone. Okay, let me see. My desire is to integrate all these uh, stations into one rail system. Okay, you can check how we how I did the stations there to begin with for the iron. Yeah, no, they all look good. Oh, the thing already has a hundred thousand iron on that warehouse. It's good, right? Yep. Yeah. that much but you know I'm gonna use a lot of them my shining they're making electric stone electric smelters here it's gotta be patient as you wait for it to be built electric smelters are going to murder our power that's true. Let's grab some windmills when I'm done here. Um, I need grenades. We have a storage for that. Southwest. Southwest, thank you. Hey, Jelly. I'm all. How do you. Hold on. I'm gonna. You're like, I have some grenades I can give you. Come back. No, I, I need to go and find them anyway. I must learn the layout. I put trees in the middle of all this, but I did. So I'm using coke to power the stone train.
Oh, I just found, I just learned as well. Uh, just friend, if you throw uh, the old crappy inserters into the crusher, they they recycle inserter parts that you can use for better ones. That sounds pretty cute. That's useful. We're already 20 megawatts beneath our power necessary. I'm gonna go fix that. Time to go place under 5 million wind tunnels, I guess. Alright, I've got rare mineral. I've got. Are these like all different? They count as different items? No, they're all just rare metals. Hmm. So I have a bunch of rare me we have rare metal production now. Alright, put into a storage. We'll use that for later. We can make electric mining drills mark two. Uh nuclear reactors need these as well, so awesome. I guess it's a good thing. These. What else needs them? Alright guys, I'm gonna head off. Alrighty. Thank you for the help, Chili. I mean, shiny. <laughs> yeah, um, the only thing these factories... I'm just gonna set the factories to this. Oh, there goes the power. I wonder whose grenade that caused that. Chili! It's me! Yeah, we have a... So this works. Oh no, these are all off by one minute to fix this. It's gonna drive me crazy. Not perfect. But it works. Where did it start going off? Right here, it's not that bad actually. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Alright, this should help store some of that. So I'm putting a bunch of it in a warehouse. Alright, goodbye. See ya, thank you again. Bye bye. So how was D&D last night? Or yesterday? It was Cinderum, not D&D. We don't play, we don't play mere D&D. <laughs> um, Fuck yeah, it was... It's very confusing right now. There's a lot of plots going on at once. So... Bit of a... a bit of name soup. Lots of NPCs floating around. I always, I always like to uh, tease my players, like, Alright, so what's the name of this 
person that you're trying to help again, like, uh, we forgot. Oh, so you cannot get, so you're not saying you're not gonna be able to get your reward then. And so by they, they immediately go through all their notes. Oh, we wrote this down somewhere. Oh, you hit it. You are the bodies. I, I just love making sure they work for it. I mean, it's like, a, well, what's the point? <laughs> if you're not gonna play DD, you're not gonna remember to play people you're working for. Somebody always takes good notes, though. And if they really forget, like, okay, give me a wisdom check, see if you remember it. There you go, just align it all. Is already better. Let's make it better. So I forgot to finish this. Could have done a CC here just in case. I see what you're doing there, I like it. Shameless the copying designs from Reddit and or. Nothing wrong with learning from better people in the nursery. Right? Exactly. You can always learn something. This is called a stacker. And it's basically a waiting room for choo-choo trains. If I do it right. I'm grabbing this. What is this thing missing? They're missing copper cables. What? Copper cables. Where are you getting copper cables from? I wasn't seeing getting copper cables. Is cables just picking up from here? My goodness, they are. Understand what I'm making. Where 
crystal. Dump some of these here. Oh, no, it's not working. Why? It's working. Why? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Science looking up. Oh, this science is good, amazing. Let's get it in there. All right, so everything is researching now. You want to see a, a, a pretty sight? Look at our labs right now. Can't even remember what we're missing. Just underneath them yeah, all. Oh, I remember. I remember. Ooh, it's so pretty. Actually, properly supplied something that never happens on my playthroughs. <laughs> it's almost like the organized piece off somehow. No entry signal here. I need a pocket train for testing. We have a place that makes engines uh, in the mall if you need them. I think that's where I'm heading now. 
assuming I don't get run over by this friend. Otherwise, I'm going to check if my signal sequencing is working right as well. So you, then red, and you go green. All you go green, and all of you stay green. Yes, perfect. It's easy. Signaling is easy. Don't know why people make such a fuss out of it. <laughs> So the plan here is eventually we're going to have a queue of up to four trains that can just sit there and wait. And then we're going to have um, one station that offloads everything and then it all gets properly filtered. Nice. Into warehouses and then onto the bus. Amazing. Then I can decommission, maybe decommission some of the other trains. Side. Engine, engine number nine. Feel free to reroute any train tracks you see fit. I suppose I need something to fuel it with. Oh, I've got like a bazillion. This year it's kind of looking kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda sad to see the three parks dying through all the pollution. <laughs> yeah, I have to go around and um replant the trees. Re tr tree encourage them, I suppose you could say. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> I die a little on the inside every time. I love it. <laughs> That's why you pay me the big money. Wait, getting paid? <laughs> Look at these warehouse buffer slash line mergers. This is some Black magic, this is. Is it? Just thought it made sense. Yeah. Now I'm going to use my train to see if this works or if it's a pain. Almost rhymed. So, I can enter into any of these, let's say I go into this one, that goes red, this is still green because my output's green, no one else can enter into this lane, I am not blocking this lane, but I will be if I go past here, I am not, I will be if I go past here, there we go. Just going to break some rules, don't worry about it. Okay, that works in principle. So for every, every set of electric furnaces I replace, I go ahead and add another 100 wind tunnels just to make, make up for it. Do you see the size of our wind farm now? Yeah, it's basically just a... Oh wow, it's pretty trippy to look at it actually. Mm -hmm. This is the incoming is line. Oh, yeah. it's just for fun. So what I need to do is...
this one, I gotta keep it to a different color on purpose. We also just researched something going on in advanced lab. They, they look different than our lab, so they can only process higher tier research. Ooh. Look at that air purification. That should make it easier. It has now been raining here for the last two and a bit days. Let me stop. Wow. No, no. Actually, this is too close together, isn't it? Get into the fancy stuff now. I have once again left this part of the electric network completely untouched. I am a menace. Other place. I don't know why I'm debating this at all. It's fine. I didn't burn through this car. It's all good. I'm gonna start with replacing from the bottom. First, let's finish placing this wind farms before I get started on that. Shiny went to design on a thumbs up. Is that what he did in that walled area there to the west? I have no idea what that was for, but I think he was make, trying to make a thumbs up of some sort. I've just seen the biter reserve. Right? <laughs> It's more of a biter farm though, isn't it? You just let them continue to charge those. Hey, they get the right to exist there right? until they, their spitters can reach the towers and destroy it all. It's like a test of strength. <laughs> In a way. I was also I was gonna go expand up top just to grab some of those other stuff up there. Stand 
Hi, jelly friend, coming through. Checking all your belts in the name of progress. Does he also unlock the jackhammer now? Hang on, the giant camera? No, jackhammer. Not giant camera, I'm sorry. Oh, jackhammer. What's that useful for? Probably hammer and stuff. Is it like a... Fast personal miner? I don't know, I'm gonna have to build one to find out. Yeah, I haven't made one either. Let's see this. Then purifying items here with the Sumi item pollution filter. The main map is divided into two three areas called chunks. If a certain amount of pollution, the purifier will only purify the chunk where it's placed. You keep doing even after the chunk has been completely cleaned. See so chunks in the map, you can use mods to filter the above view. This is squeezing at four. Sometimes you can really get a used pollution filter that can be cleaned to use again. Nice. Oh, and what my next task is, I'm gonna mess with those purification filters. I'm gonna chop it down all these trees just so I can do some purification filters. That's the way to do it, right? Plastic bar, that's not bad at all. Post steel plastic bar.
just figure to make this a little better. Just slightly. things or those things that I just built. Game seems pretty stable to date, huh? Like lag wise. Are you getting any lag at all? No. Oh. A little bit? Okay. Oops. Yeah, I am very far away though. Okay. Have you seen the stacker situation so far? Oh, let me see this. Ooh, I like it. That's pretty. Look at all this fancy stuff. I just shoot. I think it'll work. I, I I can make no guarantees, but I think it'll work. I like it. And if you ever feel like disconnected the gigantic belt of iron to make it delivered by train stead, you are more than welcome to. I will not be upset at all. Creep collector shovel. So after you clear a nest, there's like a lot of biomass I guess left behind. You can shovel that out and use it for military tech. So all the really fun stuff. Find out later. <laughs> okay, now let's make some of these coal, steel, plastic. It's coal.
by one. Damn it. One more. There we This mod makes it a good a good way to get rid of coal for after a while because you can use coal to clean the air now. Nice. Not that we are high pollution factory. Yep. Should we try to go for so a zero just... emission? <laughs> I have just killed a lot of trees though. That's all good. There's like 7,000 in storage if you feel guilty and you want to replant some. <laughs> yeah, absolutely shit. Not that I'm guilty you into planting more trees or anything. No path. Why do you have no path? is gonna need to be improved very soon. For now, let's keep the steel up there. I was afraid something like this would happen. So what's going on? Oh, just wrestling with logic. Train can't figure out a way to get back to the line. So you can't go that way, but you can go this way. You go this way. That's green for you. That's green for you. Nothing wrong with that. Takes you down to the iron mine, question mark? Oh, he needs a yeah. signal from the south. Uh, okay. So you need a signal that comes out of the station to say, hey, it's okay to come out. I must care. Because right now you only have the ones. You have the signal coming out up there, which should technically work. But. That's what I'm getting at. That's one block of track, and it's acceptable. What if I put one here? Is it just going to immediately. Everything starts moving again? No. I mean, is it literally it has no path? Have I missed a. Have I missed some track somewhere? Let me take it down there manually. Choo choo! I try just putting a, a, a train signal just where it, where it comes in into the station. Like, on just uh, where you just. That, the place we just placed. The place where there's just like a single line. Place a two way train signals there. Right there. I put a one on the left, one on the right. It should work if you do that, I think. Just concerned that it all no that still didn't do it no i think there's there's actually a, a gap there's some problem with the um with the physical line that i've missed so i'm gonna go and manually drive it already to its destination oh this is a this is like a puzzle then huh it really is yeah, and we're definitely stuck on iron ore, so there's no rush in getting that back into the line. I mean, I could have messed up the double signal there too, which would not be surprised. I just did a cross track there, I don't know if that's actually a good idea or not, but feel free to modify anything. Get 
the belts. Let's go get more belts. was a stupid mistake. Was it? I'm curious. So there's no... So you see where the iron branch line leaves uh -huh. the main route. I'm looking where you are right now. You notice how it only... Um, it only attaches to one of the two possible lines. Oh, so that green signal right um, there is trying to... So you can only you only have a way to come in, come out, not a way to come in. Is that it? Yeah. Pretty sure that's it. Huh. Oh, that's like fancy. That. Look at sure. that. Before you hit automatic, yeah, I'll say move off of the train track. <laughs> oh no, still no path. Why though? I think it's, like I said, it's that signal to the south. You see, there's like a, there's, they only have a way to come in. So only we have a way to come out, but not a way to come in. If you put it right next to that one at the bottom, then it should be fine. You see that the, this one that you have right at the top, move the one next to the, to the one at the bottom. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hang on, because this one... Yeah, no, these are all right. These all show that I can leave the junction. Yeah, no, that side is right. Like, if you go, go, go a little to the right. I think I see it. Just where those three lines intersect into one, take that signal yeah. out. Yeah, it's moving. That was it. Ah! <laughs> You're a genius. No, I'm just lucky. Don't go without me. But now it's not going to be able to get out. So you're going to have to put a, a, a signal right there where it's just coming out. Oh, now it says no path. <laughs> yeah, um, because I'm mucking around with it. I'll get you. No path to test. That's what I'm saying. Like just like just like where you just removed it. Now if you uh, come off the train real quick, I'll show you. Go up a little. I don't know why I think this the strings makes sense to me, but in my mind it does. Just where you oh, just I where see. you place that the signal, put one right next to it. In the opposite direction. Let's see. Oh my god, we're a genius. We work together. Great. Good job, Jelly Friend. I love your system. I don't I don't understand how it works, but it works, so I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just going by how trains are in real life. I mean they take signals in both left and right. Oh my goodness. I mean, it makes sense to have double train tracks like that so they can share, or you can just put on them in one single. I just remember brute force learning it in the first playthrough. Like, I'm gonna learn how to do trains, god darn it. <laughs> and it was fun. But hey, I figured it out. Now, I'm gonna watch it closely. Here it comes. It takes the top routes. It finds itself a ingress it takes the ingress and it goes right the way through because there's no queue it hits the iron perfect speaking of the iron clean this terminal up a bit Gonna produce more plastic to clean the environment. There's something wrong with that. Yeah. Sometimes this game skips on realism a little bit. It's because the air filters are made of plastic. I could just 
try to re-clean, I could uh, try to clean up the, the dirty polluters to create dirty water, because I don't know what dirty water is going to be used for. Or I could just send it to the crusher and destroy them. Not sure which one is more fun. We can make stack inserters, right? Mm -hmm. Up some advanced circuits. Yep. I think I saw some. I haven't made that. We didn't have advanced circuits when I was started making that, and now we do, so. Might be a job for me later on. I'm sure I saw advanced circuits winding their way through the countryside down here somewhere. Have we just not started them yet? Alright, I've made our first filter. Let's see how, how efficient that thing is. It consumes 75 pollution per minute. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know what to do with the dirty water down. Uh, we are making advanced circuits, but we are completely out of... Electronic components, which is right above it. It's not electric components; it's something else. Oh, it's the other thing. Oh, electric components, not electric, but electronic circuit. Sorry, I get confused. With, I get confused with the two. You're right. And we're missing. What we're we missing there, then? Glass. Just not, not getting enough glass. Maybe I think I might have cut off the glass somewhere there by accident. Ha! Ah, that is all me. I cut off the glass by accident. I can fix this. I already spotted. Sweet. I'm gonna head back into the zone of the factory that I understand. Ooh, hello, empty. <laughs> Sorry, I had the same thought <laughs> as you were going through it. Do you ever attempt to run a belt just on the main bus that's like empty but going the opposite direction so you can run double fast in both directions? <laughs> that, that actually sounds pretty hilarious. We have exosuits yet. No. We have belt immunity though. Right. So. Glass is gonna have to back, but uh, the glass production is definitely gonna have to be improved dramatically. This is kind of terrible right now. I have to take away some of the landscaping here while I remodel our train station. Do for now instead of trying to clean up the, the filters i'm just gonna make a bunch of filters and uh, ex whatever gets dirty out of them i'll just store and then clean them later there's no way they could ever backfire With the air with this uh, air filters, it's a more guarantee that it's never gonna run out, right? The trees, like they don't die. 
You don't look as pretty though. Okay, that's phase one of Jelly Central completed. We now have a multimodal iron train. My next step is to... Now, the, the, I'm going to have to have... Would you like a challenge? Because I think right. we can add a challenge to the multimodal station to make it an amazing station. Are you ready for this? What, 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 what's the plan? What if we have a train that can unload any type of cargo and sorts it after it comes out of it? I was thinking of that, and I was. This is what I was starting to work on with those filter inserters there. But then I thought, what happens when this train, copper gets, or iron gets completely backed up, and this train is stuck at the station, offloading, but it has no belts to offload on. Meanwhile, we have an iron train waiting in line to get to the multimodal depot. But I have, how about having multiple unloading dry. stations? Yeah, that's the plan. I think it's one unloading station per resource, but I think that's going to be the limit of it. Because otherwise there's always going to be a risk that you wind up oh, with, yeah, um, yeah. with one train just stuck trying to unload onto a full belt while there's a train with full carriages with nowhere to unload to. I know it would be a cheap temporary solution, but to have like six warehouses of every type would solve that? Yeah, that's... That's going to be. I think that's the plan. Definitely warehouse buffering at the top of the um, at the top of the bus makes the most sense. I think. You know, it's it might actually be a, a little faster unloading there if you put just connect those lines directly to the warehouse. All four of them put a, a fast loaders into all four. Yeah. I'll do that actually. We we do have fast loaders being built on the west side of the mall. Have some in my pocket. That's convenient. Oops. Now that's some fast loading right there. Yeah, that's gonna fill this, uh... Oh, you didn't need those splitters there. Oh, unless you were doing that for filters already. Is that what you were planning? No. No, we don't technically need them. I'm just gonna leave them there for the meanwhile, because I might tweak this a little later on. Oh, I see. Like, you know what you could do that for that filter? Because if you were to do that for the copper, that can sit in a train of copper there. You could let them unload yeah. there, and the, the, the copper will come out through the other side of the filter of, the, of those. Yeah, but there's still the issue where if you've, you've got a completely full belt of iron, it'll end up choking up the wrong side of the filter. Stack filter inserters might do the job, but they're mm. still a bit down the tech tree. Or, or how about this? The filter fast inserters on the on the east side only drop off iron to the right if they're copper they drop to the left oh now you're melting my head just no unloaders on each side of the train but if they're they can only they only pick up the iron if they're on the right they only pick up the copper if they're on the left but that still needs stack filter inserters though doesn't it we have those stack filter inserters do we? Yep. Okay. But we, at the end of the day, we do need like all the resources to come into four stage, five stations. One station per resource, I think, makes the most sense. Okay. It should be fun to just condense everything. Yeah. Let me. I, I need to go and put my bread in the oven. So let me have a think about potential ways to yeah, yeah. turn this into a logistical nightmare while I'm baking some bread. Okay. I will be right back. Alrighty.
left this mother so conveniently here. I think 250 should be enough. So glad a future proof this. So glad. Making rich iron, man. What's the point of them making a rich iron, dude? Oh, you get an egg. Oh, I just get it. But if you get more dirty water, you gotta figure out which, what to do with dirty water. I'm sure it's gonna be something useful for that. I have not figured out what, what dirty water is gonna be used for, but I will go down the rabbit hole when I have to. Like it might be useful, but it's not that far yet. Why you finish that or the day piece? How's fire looking? Perfectly fine. Let them finish what they're doing. It's a skeleton equipment. I was being fed into the grenades, I guess I'm gonna have to refeed that.
Taken care of, that's cleaned. I'm just getting some pollution filters, we'll clean that up later. I'm gonna figure out what to do with it eventually. So I, I am gonna have to send coal back over here. Just in a different angle. There was a reason I did this. So I'm not gonna modify it for now. This is supposed to be here, but I'm gonna have to fix that too. Oh, that's the copper coming in, right? That's the okay. That's the copper plates. Okay, that's the filter thing that we had set up. Right, right, right. That one's correct. This copper isn't coming in, this coal needs to be coming in double line, and it's not coming in double line. Is that in a second? That's gonna, that belt's gonna go all over the place. I have to find it. <laughs> Fuck. No. Here. I had space. <laughs> I'm going to find out where those belts ended. Found him. Ah. That was silly. Really soaking up all the pollution. That's wonderful. Look at that. Completely cleared. The pollution just keeps heading that way. Amazing. Tech is stopping. What the heck is happening with Blue Tech? Hmm. 
no advanced electronics. And let's see what again. Oh no, head hurt. Copper cable. <laughs> this thing copper cables, are you serious right now? Line without any copper cables. What, what happened? That happened. Hmm. My own organization tried just try to kill me there. Try to keep the belts balanced. I believe it. This shouldn't have. And I just did it again, didn't I? Yep, I did it again. Oof. Guess we just need another balancer here. Okay, I am back. Apparently I was just a victim of my own terrible organization. I cut off a supply to make sure it doesn't deploy the other, and I depleted both. So now I fixed it. I mean, I love how I ordered the main buses, but you only have to go a little bit further north to see see our true colors. Oh yeah. But the main bus, I'm gonna keep it organized. Dang it. <laughs> I can see why this is so useful. Then it's definitely a work of art. Did you kill yourself? Jelly friend was killed by jelly friend. Was it a grenade? It was definitely a grenade, yes. Still. It was an epic battle. It's been recorded for posterity. Still getting slowed down somewhere. I guess that makes sense here to do it like that.
So this can unload as well. And this is something really beautiful. Look at where I am right now. L look at this copper unloading. Copper cable unloading. So ordered. I know, it's weird. Like, I've never done it in this organized before. You could probably use output priority to force the... Um, force the goods over onto the far belt so that the near belt can always offload. Oh, do you want to blow your bind on something? If you mouse over a little... Uh, yeah, that's what I did. Like, some of them were going out, or someone going closer. That's what the Shift L is for. Shift L? Over, mouse over inserter. Yeah, and then, okay, wow, okay. But I think it's only for this mod, though. Yeah, because I know in Bob Angels you just choose where you drop it, but this one you have to actually highlight it and choose it. Oh, it's, it even has a little animation! Oh, Isn't it adorable? It's so cute! <laughs> oh, I love it! This mod, they definitely put a lot of love into this mod, I can tell. There's a lot of love in this mod, Hang on, hang on, slow down. I haven't even finished building the rail terminal and you're already doing portable nuclear reactors. Well, it's just that we have to research. <laughs> I'm, I'm just upgrading the furnaces because just that we had nothing else to research, so I'm just like, yeah, whatever, just research that. We'll be fine. I'm doing my best to keep the bus organized. It's a work in progress. That was dumb. Did I do that? Now what's another cool thing about bringing the rare resources all the way to the bottom is if it looks like we're down on something, you can just pull that raw, uh, raw stuff, smelt more, and just send it back to refeed it into the bus where it's missing more. It's wonderful. I'm looking forward to seeing... I haven't seen any of these raw fancy crystals yet. Yeah, no, I'm, there's a lot of stuff to be, be develop into the bus still. This is a very early stage still. We only up, got up to blue tech cards. I have not added electric engines into the... I have not added factories for those. None for flying robots. Not if you ever, I don't know if you're even going to need those at all since we're not doing it. Oh, that's what you use dirty water for. You can filter and create stone and copper, create stone and iron or stone and rare metals. Oh my goodness, you can do some cool stuff with this. 
So all the dirty water that you get from fil uh, filtering out the pollution out of the air, you can make more raw materials. Oh, that is so cool. I, I, I know what I'm going to work on after I finish up getting all the smelter, smelters into electric furnaces. And keeping an eye on the power too as I do it. I'm definitely taking my time in this one. Like if we don't need to rush to get out, the batteries are no threats whatsoever in this. <laughs> we can take our time. So they're around. That makes more sense. Here we go. Inspect my bread and we'll be right back. Here wheels can we make more uh, chemical? That's that's why refineries. This is iron gear wheels. Iron beams. What chemical plants to use steel stuff as well. Oh, I thought he was level two. Neat. Oh, and the area is seven by seven. Very fancy. Concrete. 
the areas where all, most of the pollution is at. I want to just plop in two of these over here. Splitters. And good on those. Okay, no more belts. So we need to bring some filters up here. Which I'm purposely not we're not doing this with robots at all, so. Basically, bring the belts, belt of uh, filters all the way up there, which is not that far. It's right here. You know what? I'm actually not gonna make a a bus just for this. If I need to, I will eventually. But I think for now, it's fine. Need a regret. Fine, I'll make one. Well, something, something funny about blowing up trees just to get a a boss for filters. Pass the bread inspection. Awesome. The moment you realize you just built right on the middle of your hub on your main bus. So you have to go around it. Yay. love some of these comments on like factorio train station designs are hey this is a fun game let me see your cool train station designs when you know it's clearly just industrial espionage yep. like desperate for the secrets <laughs>
okay, I'm deep in the science here, but I think I've cracked it. Yeah? So you, the train station does not act as a signal, which I thought it did. Huh. So you have to put a signal after the train station. Kind of makes sense. filters. So I need to make the factory that makes these because I'm, I'm going to use a lot of them. Plastic steel. Oh, Jesus. This is steel bar, right? This is steel beam? No, steel beam. Of course it's steel beam. Why would it be something simple and easy? Oh, for starters, let me feed it. Let me do the one that I started because I'm going to forget it. I don't think I'm going to need this many anymore. I believe two per area. Is that enough to keep it? will be these. Gotta use for that later. So gotta get that all the way up to here. Either. Oh, the stone is being shared over here. Or does? Is that use stone? That does use stone. Okay. Well, he was using it. I think we have enough water for this. That's it. That's it. That's it. I just added more smelting of iron to the bus just because, you know, we have way too much iron ore, so I just burn more. That's pretty Go through here.
Okay, it's starting to make a difference on those little hubs. I guess it doesn't have an area to unload it like that. Still don't have a place to unload it. So use red belts and yeah, red arms. Because you're gonna need them too, aren't they? Right here. Before I just start doing this, I need to plan for this too. gonna make a bus just to unload this stupid bad filter suit. I don't even care how wasteful this is. Everyone's driving on the left. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Wait until you have to troubleshoot one of my junctions. <laughs> Isn't that exactly how I set that, that one to, to unload it? Is that on the right? I, I can't even tell the difference. No, you're right. You you off your one offloads as though it were a left hand drive as well. So there you go. I suppose that's where I got it from. Apparently you can use dirty water to get more raw ore or raw copper or iron out of it. It's kind of cool. I will do something like that later. But first I want to clean the factory. That's my goal now is to get this pollution zero pollution. It's going to happen. No reason other than just having fun. Well, I am helping clean the factory by removing all of these weird diagonal railways and replacing them with nice straight box railways. Nice. Oh, I like it. It looks so much better. Neat. Although, just for future reference, if anyone remembers, the loop at the end of that track is not the coal station. The coal station for that unused coal patch probably needs to go north of the line. That is just a turnaround loop for emergencies. Okay. Wow, that is some organized train tracks. Never seen anything that pretty before. Thank you. 
couldn't have done it without you. And like 40 billion Reddit users. Wait, threes trying to make a clean factory here, dang it. Broke the trains. Broke the trains, you said? Broke the trains. Oh no. Mostly because this crossover junction wasn't finished. Be free! I'm making it faster than mix, uh, air filters. I'm tired of making this by hand. And of course they take engines. Why wouldn't they? Down on the main bus for Cole or no? There's three more tiers of belts after red, apparently, in this one. So we can get some really fast belts. <laughs> what? Hang on a minute. Oh, well, we can't even see them yet. Hang on, I'll have to come. If you search for logistics on the Let's research see. tree, you can see it. I probably should have uh, enabled the FNE mod in this, I did not. But that's my bad. Purple, green, and blue. Mm -hmm. That's the same as Bob's, though, isn't it? Yeah, Unless they've so. swapped. Oh no, purple is the ultimate belt here. Bob's green's the ultimate. Yeah. Belt. I probably had to change that for legal reasons so they didn't get sued. <laughs> Every time I go, I'm going to add something to the factory. Oh, I found 13 things I want to fix.
No, we're not gonna use it, but I'm just gonna just, so it goes away from the research queue. So make you sad, but we're down to three deposits of mine of coal in our starting area. We're almost out of coal. Um, are we panting? Are we panting in coal from anywhere else? Are we bringing coal in from anywhere else? Because I can put the coal station down and get this working pretty. Oh uh, no, we have coal coming in. We, I, I added a secondary station a, a while ago, and it's now being used. Sweet. I had originally set up that it should only bring more once the our original one de depletes it and it's now bringing it in finally. I'm a, I'm a big, big, uh, use everything you got before you get more, you know? Yeah. You know, technically with this, uh, with the technology available in this mod, you can get any resource you need without even extracting mine deposits, if you can't believe it. I know you can do that in Angels with um, all the mud stuff, but I don't know you can do it here. It's not very efficient, but you can. So what's our next highest priority for deliveries via the unified rail mechanism? I think we might need copper, actually. Cool. Where's our nearest copper station? Copper's starting to look a little dry. It, it, even though the boat's is com completely uh, filled, you might notice that we only have that one little copper near the wind tunnels and that's it. Once that one is out, we're out of copper. There's only one technically within the, the, the fortress walls as well. True. Sounds like I have a job to expand up top. Yeah, if you want to do the mining drill stuff, I need to actually formalize this causeway with the landfill a bit more so I can... But this is going to be the main line now because I have to run three different resources down there. It's going to take a while to tidy up that stone depot because that um, its warehouse is 100% full. Huh. Which is pretty cool. Right, uh, I have to take another bread break. I will be right back. Wait, wait. Here now. Let's fix this. We can fix this. Why is it not getting enough copper? Because that's not smelting enough of copper. more copper ore in here. 
There's not big enough. That's a full line too. Oof. Hmm. Yeah, filtering from this is not gonna fix the problem either, is it? The other all, all the leftovers are already coming in. Yeah, need more ore. Dang. Actually need more ore. You can distract I need to finish the filter thing first. Just keep finding more problems every time I come back here. So I need some that makes uh, air filters. I want to place them right here. Okay, so you're gonna make me these. So plastic, steel beam, heavy electronics, engines. Engines luckily are right here. Which is why I placed this here to begin with. It is. I just have a lot of it. Okay. Huh. There's a landfill up here. Hmm? Is there a landfill up here, or do I have to go somewhere else? Uh, landfill is to the east. I did not put that in the proper place. It's where sand is getting made. It's straight east. Oh, perfect. I saw the sand assembly, so I'm sure I'll find it. Ah, I see it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Still, I guess I could just grab a and make still be sort of rubbering it all the way from down there. Yeah, you know what? I'm just doing that. Isn't it winner silver? No way, it's gonna look tidier anyway. Yeah, plastic, I'm gonna have to bring this no matter what. Advanced circuit and plastic, I'm gonna have to bring it from down there. Gotta have no escape. Plastic and advanced circuits. I'm on a journey to bring plastic and advanced circuits to Rama. Yeah. Oh my god, they're right next to each other right here. This is like perfect. Separate like this. There we go. Let's go for a drive. This is gonna be a long trip. It's worth it. Save you so much time. Oh, 
over it. Air filters, amazing. Okay. Air filters are a good. This is a work. Simple steel box with it. Oh no! Once again. It yourself. Incredible. Oh, the forest that I placed down to clean the pollution. He killed killed yourself cleaning it. That's nature taking revenge. I just need to make a little bit more space. Uh. While I'm up here, I should probably grab some trees and do some uh, some good work for nature rather than. <laughs> No, not having notice for bots is nice now, but the amount of belts we're gonna be using in this playthrough is gonna be beyond comprehension. I am already going to love it. Should have picked up some more grenades as well, otherwise I suppose I should also try and learn from my mistakes. are great for one thing, creating more belt spaghetti throughout the entire factory. Because I have to place them everywhere now. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Maybe we should go through here. There you go. That's the plan. Wait, this is grabbing this. It is. No, I can't do that. Should be right here. out of here. Ugh, that's not gonna be fun. Oh no, I didn't think this through. <laughs> oh, there we go, I found a, found a way. Keep 
might actually be easier for me to hook up the um, hook up the stone first. This is mod like uh, it adds a lot of really com uh, very pretty buildings. Like they took the time to develop. Get rid of this three belts on the causeway this one, situation. They added like. Uh, there's like so many fancy things in this mod. Like they took the time to make everything look pretty too, yeah. which is very rare. Like look at the stuff that you can make with this. Like they look so cool. Like there's like very cool looking buildings, which is kind of rare to see in these kind of mods. I mean, look at all this stuff. Eventually, you even get like antimatter stuff to do eventually. And uh, the, the goal of the game is to get to an intergalactic transceiver. I mean, they they all just look super cool. Singularity tech, there's like antimatter reactors. I know it's just neat stuff. Matter cubes, I don't even know what that stuff's gonna be used for. Like, I haven't, we haven't even got that close to being that level of technology yet. There's like advanced robot boards, superior inserters. There's something we're gonna get into, it's called Immersium Plate. Yeah, it's a very high quality mod. Is that like what it. that Immersite stuff is for? I would guess so, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a very high quality mod. I really appreciate it. It is just like EM plus 20, 30, 40, 50%, isn't it? Mm hmm. I'm trying, I cannot figure out a way to get this belt out of here. Um, I might have to do some shenanigans here. If anyone can spaghetti, it, it's you. I learned from the best. You teach me a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> um, grenades have stopped producing because there's no coal. Yeah, I was about to say, we need to be re-adding coal there. Just pull it from the main line. I for, I was gonna add it. Oh, you know what I did? I just didn't connect that one line. Could just follow that line right there. I see it. I see it, and I'm about to fix one it. One single splitter will do it. Like a dozen times worse. Let's find out together. Yep, yeah, once there. Oh, a little to the right. <laughs> one to the left will do it. Or that. Or that plus that. That works too. I don't know. I should probably foregelt that out, but look. Sure, look at you. Yeah, like at the very top, but everything is clean and organized, and the further down you go, like, oh god. <laughs> it's still good, we just need to, like, move all the belts further down. Yeah, it's easier to our... fix it than it is to... Just to try to figure out how I'm gonna get this out of here. Can't find a path. Oh, I found it. I found it. Right. Spaghetti the spaghetti. I'm gonna go and collect my bread and dinner. Ready to go back. So there's even like there's even air filters in this mod. And in this mod you can also use the, the byproduct of that you like dirty water. You can filter the water to get raw uh, raw resources out of it. So if you ever really run out of stuff, you have an infinite resource. You just have to do a huge amount of cleaning though to get it. Uh, where? Where's the filter thing again? Where was I going with that? Uh, filter, filter, right here. So I need to get to here. So this belt needs to get with this belt. Right. No. This belt. This belt. Yeah, it's a very pretty mod. I really appreciated the high quality of it. Let's charge it. What? You can use the water to charge an equipment grid that has an item energy absorber. Oh, that is awesome. That's amazing. Wireless charger. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, 
I'm very happy that I decided to, we decided to do a proper main boss in this run. The dirty filters line, yes, it is. Speaking of, let's see how many filters are already been cleaned out. I see there's they're stacking here already. That's the dirty filter main bus. Then the one for clean filters, one for iron gears, iron ore, iron, copper ore, copper, coal, copper cables, wood, iron, beans. Then we have stone, sand. We go further down. Once, once this is cleaned out, we'll extend the, this too. Then we come down to we have steel, steel gears, steel ingots, plastic, silicon. Electronic parts, electronics, advanced electronics. And that's as far as we've gotten. Yeah, that's that's the size of our bus right now. <laughs> that is the size of this bus. That wide. Eventually, it's gonna go all the way down to get everything. It's gonna look amazing. It's big. It's so big. What I'm trying to do right now is to reduce the air pollution, just just for the heck of it. No reason whatsoever than just cleaning it up. Let's grab some air filters. There's literally no reason to reduce pollution because the biters is, are always have always been in this game not a known threat. But you know, by keeping the place nice and clean. I've always wanted to do one of these factories and never tried because I've ever been like, ah, oh, it's too easy, I don't need to. But this time I want to try it. Just for fun. Not for necessity. This baguette here is going to be amazing. To dispose of these filters. Never do dirty. Mm. I see you, belt. I don't think I don't see you. Split this real quick and to grab that. And let that corrupt our entire thing. You gotta clean my inventory. Let's go to the filter cleaning area. Yeah, I'm just doing the clean factory just because as a fun, because the fighters has always been easy enough to begin with to begin, so you don't really need to worry about it. I just do it for f I'm just doing this because I wanted to. I, we just did like a death world run and even that was a joke. So I'm like, yeah. Just doing this for fun. We, we, it's not a serious game in any way, shape, or form. So I'm trying to enjoy a different way to play it. I guess I can burn those to the shredder. Can shred these two. Gonna use them any more. Let's go ahead and shred. Anything else I can shred here? Those. Yeah, this line filters all the useful stuff that I dumped there. Anything that's not basic will just go into the shredder here to be reused for something. Like this will give me certain parts. Maybe use for something else. Everything else just get crushed and use it for something else. If 
we have some inventory slots. It's gonna go don't have so much crap on me. Let me dump these inserted parts. So instead of just being the usual like everybody does, I'll just go brush the end, research other things, beat all the biters, expand. You know, try to do something different with the game, so you can enjoy it in a different way. So I'm trying to completely have zero, zero pollution. That's that's my goal. <laughs> for no reason at all. Just for my own personal goal. There's absolutely no reason to do it, but I'm just doing it anyway. Play the same like everybody else, you're gonna get bored of the game very quickly. So yeah, this these things here will eat up a little chunks of pollution like this, which eventually should condense it all, but so I'm putting in the bigger areas that generate pollution like in this center part. And I can see that it's already shrunk a lot based on this. I'm gonna send it over near the copper mine. Of course, as I say that, I destroy all the trees with grenades. Getting a clean environment, goddammit. Send it over to this line, same thing there. Like that. Perfect. If it's long enough, I can reach. Probably do this up here as well. Yep. So we could use a filter up here too. It's gonna be cleaned up. See, these little checks is where I place the filter. Look at how much it affects it already. It consumes 75 per minute. That's amazing. This needs copper desperately. Which is the problem is that we don't have enough copper ore coming in. 
It looks like this is thick, but it's not thick enough. Definitely more copper ore to be coming in here. It's just not enough. Maybe I could do this to help out a little. Let's see if this will help at all. Spot to make that one a little thicker too. The top one is thick, but the bottom one is not thick now. And I'm doing this, we're doing this entire run without logistic robots. <laughs> Which is gonna be stupid. But I wanted to do it anyway. No logistic bots. Nope. search but I'm not gonna use it. It's another area that is eating a lot right there. I'm gonna get this over there. I guess I can go through here. Yeah, I can go through here. Oh no! The hex only moved over him. He'll be fine. <laughs> He's gonna go on a journey. <laughs> fine, it's good. It's fine. Yeah, copper plates need some extra smelting stone. my uh, filter I don't have to worry about this one at all Here is surprisingly thick pollution. How to get this out of here? Oh, jeez. Getting all these dirty filters out of here is going to be fun. What about shocker?
to look kind of sad. To remember where I was. There. Okay. Just get to get a filter to drop off somewhere. There's gonna be any pollution there too. But we don't need to eat everywhere, just in the biggest areas that are polluting the most. So yeah, see it's already shrunk. Ridiculousness. Look at that. So good. So I can drop another filter on the way. Where is the filter coming in? Right there. So if I plop one here, since that one is dropping filter off, I can One better power right here, so this grabs a filter from there, it drops dirty filter there. There we go. Whatever's making filters down there is probably gonna be busy for a while. Yep. You know, I'm on my coal, but that's okay. This is here for And uh, back from dinner. Come back. Accidentally put a belt under you, so you took a little stride to the right. Cool. It's like going on holiday. <laughs> right. Look at my. Uh, I cleared the. I'm trying to clean the pollution. Look at the pollution cleaning efforts on the south now, southeast, where I'm at, like this area. You see the little blocks eating up the pollution. Oh yeah, is, are these the new um, filters? Yum yum friends. Yeah, nice. I put one by the copper factory too, so it should be eating all that western pollution as well. And the coal factory, because you know, coal extractor is probably going to cause a lot of pollution there too. So yeah, it looks like our copper is a struggle right now. Yep, and unfortunately... I can't make it the priority because we actually need to move the stone line and the best way to move the stone line is to take it to its new home. Okay. I guess what I can do, I'm going to take a break from upgrading and messing around the fact that we should go murder some aliens to the north while preserving shinies. <laughs> Zoo that he started up there. Eventually, you can also enrich materials. I don't know if you saw that under the third tab. Yet, so I don't know. Mm, spicy. Ready to filter for steel plates. Oh, let's check. Is that steel? 
But it's still, I guess, let's drop off some here then. to go murder a bunch of the natives here back your rifle for that. It's fine. Is this the exit? Right, let's start here, make our way, close that up. Have I thought, thought back about what you want to see in a factory expansion? I've only been playing for a month and a half. I mean, the space exploration is coming out, on, isn't it? Pretty soon. Like, then the devs said they're working on space exploration now. Not just as a mod, but it's gonna be a thing. Perfectory, like, what would I want to see it? I mean, in the base game, I'd like to see more way to build more clean factories, because that's not a thing in the base game. You need mods just for that. I like just something like that in the base game. Ah, neat. Yeah, I think I'd like to see cleaner factories, which I, like make give us a reason to make a clean factory. And, and does it, I know this sounds weird and childish, but still, I like to see a clean factory. I just don't see the reason why every factory just needs to be this huge pollution thing, and then the pollution gets the nest, and the nest kills you. I want to make it so like if you let pollution get to the aliens, you get really penalized for it. Right now it's just like it's just a little bit more and they evolve a little bit. It's not serious enough. Like they need to make the pollution like such a huge thing that it really justifies. I feel like that also ties into incentive for clean factories, but if not play factory, you can see it being something that a lot of players would hate. They can disable it. 
If they want it, they can completely disable it. Just like anything else in most games, you should be able to just disable it. No matter what what you do for a game, somebody's gonna complain. So you might as well do what you wanna do. If people complain, let them complain. Growing your own food, automated crops, weaving textiles. Yeah, there you go. That sounds cool too. It's not a bad idea. Starts to reduce crop yields as well as affect local temperature, making some place more or less suited to turn the crops. Hey, there you go. And like, make the aliens like never stop growing from pollution. That would solve all the all people's concern about pollution if they want to have a challenge. Because right now, they, once they reach 1.0, you just overtake them because there's no more challenge left. <laughs> and that's it. That's where it ends. I'm like, okay, cool. It takes away some of the charm of the game. What's that? Oh, sorry, I was talking to the chat. I forgot to press control for a second. Oh my goodness! You just grenade yourself. Not again! I'm so far away from everything! We were just talking about what we want to add into the game, and we we're talking about maybe. A, a bigger reason to clean your factory, maybe make the biters never stop evolving. And if, if you let it get out of hand, you can never overcome it. And maybe I can option you can disable it for the people who don't want to see stuff like that. But I like to see something like that gets so out of hand if you ignore pollution that you just completely get overrun and there's nothing you can do about it. There was a, I, was, I hate to mention this, but it was like a flash game. I remember on the back when they decided to exist at Congregate, they had the same mechanic as Factoria, right? The pollution would expand and the, the greater your pollution, the stronger the enemies would be coming towards you. But in that game, they never stopped evolving. So eventually you get to a point that you just couldn't handle them anymore if you let it get out of hand. Because right now, yeah, it's scary at the beginning, but the second you get to the high-tech stuff and the aliens just cannot even get touch you anymore. Yeah, that's exactly the one for each, you know, you know the game, you know exactly which one. Yep, that's the one. I'm glad somebody remembered that game. <laughs> you played it too. Oh no, by the wires. Yeah, I played it too. That game was punishing if you let the pollution get out of hand. I remember it.
Oh, that man's burst the ammo. That's what I'm saying, biters have no challenge whatsoever in this game. Like, they really aren't a challenge in this game at all. You can go with a tank and have fun, melee into the death, kill them, whatever. Yeah, fighters are very trivial. Maybe like they're super hard to kill or anything. They're not. for this. Needs for needs. Magic potion more to true life, uh, true life drawbacks. Tends to live you next to massive packs or smokestacks. Better get an air filter mask for the sake of your lives. Yeah. <laughs> just imagine like if it was like your character would start moving slower to, to eventually just die from the pollution. <laughs> like you start like, actually having like struggle to like move. Like you don't move as fast because the pollution is like dragging you on. Eventually you can develop like stuff to mitigate some of the pollution like we do in the real world filters cleaning up some of the pollution by itself i don't know there's a lot that can be done with this game this game has so many so much potential for expansions some of these two. The copper here is clear for harvesting. I just need to get shot of this stone situation and then we are we'll be all over it. So just do it here. The 
ambitious enough how far I'm, far I'm getting here. Oh wow, look at you in the Badlands. Oh, if you, it's there, that's just... If you happen to be coming up this way, could you bring me, uh, kid you not, 300 of the medium poles? If you decide to come this way. Oh, it's a long way to go and there's no, um... Nope. No cars. I don't have a car. So we really have to get on top of this copper situation, otherwise it's... Yep. You know what, I'm actually going back to the base because I, I, I'm, I'm just going to grab the poles myself. They're, they're so far away. I, I'm, I'm going to grab it. Slow down your walk speed, please slow down your health regen, reduce your max health as you become more sickly. There you go. An idea that probably would be a buffer dose and clashes the main team with Victoria. New, more complicated type of enemy. Yeah, there you go. Man, if, if it's an expansion, I mean, people should be able to disable that feature if they don't want to see the bigger enemies. Just like any game. Don't like it? Don't play it. I just think it would be pretty fun to play them. Personally. I guess we expand to here. I guess I'm just gonna set a line that feeds ammo for Shiny's plan there. Because <laughs> he's, he's got his zoo thing happening. I'm just gonna eat it for, feed ammo for him. He's got enough ammo to last a long time, but I'm just gonna give him some ammo. Can't our inserters work on weird angles in this version? I thought they could. Not in this one, apparently. 
That's somewhat annoying. Thank you. That would be amazing, Fish Makara. That would be amazing. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, we're gonna back up lines just in case. <laughs> it's totally overkill. More than enough to okay, stone to protect move to copper is next. In case of emergency milk. <laughs> Wanna to bring radars into power poles. Okay, so I need radars and power poles. Remind me when I go to the base if I don't grab those. <laughs> just, just in case, I'm gonna forget it. It really is dumb. Yeah, it really is dumb, Fridge. 
Like no, no missile silo either, or aircraft to launch it. Like, why would you launch a nuke by hand? <laughs> yep. I don't know. I know there isn't Bob Angels. I'm not sure if there isn't Chris Story yet. Let's search. Artillery. Nuclear artillery shell. Yep, there is. There's even antimatter artillery shell in Crestoria. Air effect size 3. What's the air effect size of this one? Air effect size 7. Oh no, 30. Wait, air effect size 30. Air effect size 40. Okay, so it's a greater reach with it. The, the antimatter is actually stronger. There's an extra tier. The pylon's even on the ball. Mm-hmm. Oh, I cannot see them. Uh, they're further south of them all. Are they? Okay. It was properly organized, but it's there. Found them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right, what else do I need now before I go back into the train pit? Hello. Hey. Oh, I have to spaghetti all the way across the forbidden zone. Yep, no territory. Who needs a wiki? It's more fun to figure stuff out. There's it's it's unfun to use a wiki to learn stuff. Oh wow, look at look at the remnants of pollution that got left southeast. We've cleaned so much of it that they're, they're just lingering there. Yeah, looking, just fading away slowly. So environmentally conscious. I know. How can we be the body zone with this good at being green? <laughs> we destroy all the trees, clean and killing all the biters, but we're definitely staying pollution free. Imagine if pollution affected the game, like if the pollution like lowered how good the fact the industries worked. Can you imagine that? Like the belts, I don't know, belts would get lower as like stuff gets grimed into the into the stuff. If it gets too much pollution, that would piss off so many people playing this game. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, if you were to ask me, I can always look it up here in the research tree. I was just talking on mute. And I think that's a great idea because it would force kind of super efficient people to balance their factories for pollution as well as production. Oh, yeah. We just need some encouragement to clean the pollution because right now I think you really have nothing to worry about. Collected another 1,500 worth of biomass from all the nests I just purged. Which is something you can you can collect the creek that they they grow on now. Uh, let's make up some more room. More more room. Keep all this biomass over here. The biomass box. Why you like the idea of like a kosher expansion? Yeah, like Chad said, it's part why they like the idea of like a kosher expansion. Farms and crops are very easy to be affected by pollution. Yeah. Oh no, I'm starting to see boxes of stuff left behind. Like, no, no leaving boxes of stuff left behind. <laughs> me, pretty sure it wasn't me. Was it I think that was Chad. Like we have a bo box for trash for this reason, because I don't want to see like 700 different boxes with just trash all around the bed, around the base. I'm just being petty. 
Doing garage pollution areas, you have to invest in air filters and greenhouses. There you go. Maybe in hydroponics. There you go. I've just been carrying forever. Just, just dump it. This is broken first, just shrunk up. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's stone 100% complete. Yep. That massive Nike 2K stack of coal will drain on the, um, of stone will drain as a uh, priority and then dis dismantle the rest of that old station. Mm. It is no longer part of our stuff shifting solution. Nice. This is a botulin like did I forget something? Yeah, you know it. Radars. I need more belts, I need more steel, I need more stuff. Oh no, copper train's broken again. Why? Let's go to work. It's gonna be a total crucial worry, but if you don't want to come back to production, you have to make everyone complicated and expensive workarounds. There you go. Yeah, that could that could work as well. Or you should be able to get a modifier that you can set to whatever settings you want. Like, you want to make it pollution affects a lot of your factory, or just barely anything? Like, do you want to do you want the extra challenge of having a factory really hurt you, or you want to just walk in the park like every single playthrough is? comes down to, I guess. That should be enough. There's a pollution here, that's not so good. You can drop a filter right, right here. Right there. There's still something weird, but destroying three is to place down an air filter. Yeah, they're all dead. I think the problem may have been that last double-sided signal. Said there was no way to get in here. Yeah, that works now. No path. With something wrong with this changeover. Where it? Ah. Found it? Okay. No, actually, I don't. I have not. Well, as it's coming out, they have no way to come in. Because there's only a way out, not a way in. That's how I look. Look, yeah, at, the, but there look is... at the signals as a. Uh, a is it a one-way street or is it a two-way street? Right now, the, the signal on that side, oh, yeah. the only cut is a one-way street. A way down a one-way street. Yeah, but we're doing this entire run without construction bots, Fridge Mark, if you can believe it. This entire run's gonna be without, so it's gonna be a spaghetti city in this one, for sure. This has been a... Purely stupid decision that we just we're we're adhering to. Usually ignore construction bots.
but you would use it for this situation. Follow the church's forget. You know, if you'd like to join and play, you're more than welcome to. I'm always willing to accept help. <laughs> you spaghetti like that. Okay. I need uh, it's right here. Come on, that's convenient. The pollution added in. Pollution clearing cleared out. You don't play spaghetti. I know you play tutorial. Okay. No, you notice we did have an extra copper within our walls in the north, but now we have two to the north now. Oh yeah, well we can hook them all up with yeah, It's very tiny, but they're there. <laughs> we could use it. Yeah, Shiny did this smeltery for rare metals. There's this gigantic warehouse loaded with them. Love it. Um, where did you go? Oh no. Hmm? Wait. That's the stone train. Okay. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> so everything's gonna get downloaded into one spot. I absolutely love it. The spaghetti in here that you've done, it's amazing. Up right now, the iron has no path. Yeah, I just fixed it. Just fixed it. You can't come this way because there's a train in this block. So, Mr. Iron. Is there something we can do with the Aimer site? Like, the, the late stuff on the Crestorio is the really cool looking stuff, so, but we're gonna get there. But until then, gotta gotta play like we always play every game. Cats. Gotta play safe, have radars, have defenses, and all that fun stuff. I suppose that probably wants to be a chain signal now, doesn't it? Let's take these out. Let's place a radar over here. Okay, so no, really I absolutely does not want any kind of signal there. Okay. So what's the block situation Ooh, here? That's a radar. The whole... Ah, back home. to bring the power again it's something last time imagine if vegetation grew in this game 
I always used to think it did. Can you imagine that would lag a lot? Yeah, I suppose. No, they can't grow back. Uh, this game, there's no mechanics for growing trees back. In this mod, you can plant trees. In this game, nope, there's nothing about growing trees back. Nope. There's nothing. Nothing like that in the game, base game. It's all about the factory. Everything else is just obstacles. Don't you grab grabby arms? Uh. So I have to do some yellow peasant ones. It's really close. This many turrets here, but whatever. It's your entire northern area. So easy to have played in that world, and this feels so easy now. Satisfying the correct amount of belts to bring with me on an adventure. Yep. I need to clean that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's just gonna drain our mail. You guys. Okay, guess we're clearing that nest. Give me some ammo. Off we go. Sorry, friendos.
words. Yeah, with this mod you could just make water patches, but that's cheesy. I mean, the, the game is already easy enough. You don't need to just block it or kill yourself with water. Never to worry about biters. But that takes the fun out of it. Okay, sorry, trees, but you're right in our path. Looks like I could just make a wall. Well, uh, get this copper tree. Yeah, I'm gonna do this wall like this. Sorry, trees. Oh no, we're actually driving on the right. Oh, boo. Huh. You bamboozled yourself. Self bamboozled. I think I found the greatest iron ore of all time. And I tagged it because it had to be tagged. 1.3 thousand iron ore. Mm-hmm. Finally, we can retire and give up this life of crime. Yep. Wait a minute, crime? <laughs> oh no, one of the biters on his island dies. So apparently, the biters die over time if they're not near their nest. Uh, Shiny, he was isolated in little islands. This one apparently dies off. Oh, well, that's. <sighs> Unethical science, but science nonetheless. Yeah. Because if they can't find a I path, they just to get despawned. Maybe they get forced to spawn. Who knows? Let's say that probably makes sense. Twelve of those, I give you a stack of undergrounds. Let us just go oh, water. Here, switch here. Your goose. Switch your goose are fine. Yeah, I could just expand here. And the only other thing I need is. Or I could just go here. <laughs> here. Uh, steel plate. Here. No, I think my northern wall expansion is going to get a lot bigger than I first planned for. We're having steel problems. Yeah? I will work on that later. Is it, where is it not getting enough steam? Steel, not steam. A steel, not steam, yeah. Um, just in, the, in that kind of big south western kind of steel spur where all the steel gets used for all the bits basically oh yeah i see it they're getting they're getting drained power is still green and we have electric furnaces now so yeah i've been careful who started the sub chat in squad i did not do that sub chat i didn't do that at all but you did where was that at Sub chat in this card. What? Oh, 
Uh, well, we really might have set that up back on, in March. Yeah, it looks like but you just set that up back in March and somebody was got a deleted user that's no longer here. I don't know. <laughs> and I suppose it's Cole next. And finally? That was back set back in March of last year. What what happens to Immersite? Is it like a gas? I don't know. We haven't anything to extract it yet, I don't think. So I suppose we still have oil and bursite and precious metals. Yeah, rare metals. Yeah, rare metals we can stick on this. It's probably going to be a shorter train though because it's not exactly a DK a go. It, I think it's just a channel just for the subs. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I didn't set up any of the Discord. That was all you and Evie, <laughs> to be honest. Shows how much I know about streaming. Bungie, did you see what they announced? Uh, did you see the leak stuff from Twitch uh, yesterday? Oh no! My train! I hit this game. <laughs> I hit it. I have had most of the deaths of my for your career saving mostly due to lag and grenades you have died five times uh once to drown three through grenading yourself and now one by three yep. the life of a coward no <laughs> i'm proud of it proud of my cowardice god the yeah that really one but you spew off pollution it's crazy Yeah, I was like 9 million. Oof! Can you imagine making that much money? I can't even fathom spending that much money in my lifetime. Like, I'd be perfectly happy with like 40k a year. I'd be more than happy with that. I don't need more money than that in a year. Heck, even 30k right now would be a blessing. You could spend it. Uh, to me, that just seems so wasteful. I think if I ever made, uh, if I ever got you somehow by some miracle to six figures, mind you, anything that I made above six figures would just a hundred percent go to an animal sanctuary. All of it. I do not need that much money ever in my life. That's just way too much money. I would completely find a hundred percent animal sanctuary. If your student loans in house can get paid off. You can live off what you make now. Nice. Yeah, my only thing left is my house. Most of that, that's paid off. I have no debt left. But as it's going right now, it's my savings that is paying my my loans, which is not good. Because yeah, and I, oh, mind you, they're not they don't allow you to refinance unless you make more money. I think I told you this already. I wouldn't try to get a refinance on my loan, and they say, oh, you need to make more money. Like, Why would I want to refinance if I was making more money? <laughs> yep. Like, oh no, you need to make more money before you can refinance. Like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Why would I want to refinance if I was making more money? Apparently, that's the bank policy now. Like, you cannot refinance your house unless you make a certain amount of income. So, so you're gonna let me completely drain my entire bank account, lose my house, as opposed to lower the bank the payment that I can actually afford to pay, so like, cool, thanks, awesome, makes me feel great. Thanks for like, making me lose sleep for the next three, three to six months, I suppose. It's like, amazing. So yeah. That happened. Really stupid. Yep. 
And the worst thing is they offer me a, a refinance. So like, I'm like, okay, cool, I want to do it. And they're like, yeah, but you, you need this much income. Like, I don't have that much income. Well, then you can refinance. Why the fuck did you offer me then? <laughs> refinance. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I think it's fine if I'm going to try to refinance it, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I make 5k a month. Yeah, totally first world country. 100%. I'm, I'm, the next time somebody asks much money, yeah, I make a ton of money. Just refinance. How do I get a check? <laughs> I might just do that next time I try to ask somebody for refinance. Like, yeah, yeah, I totally make like 20,000 a month. Sure. Apparently, cannot be honest to anybody. Okay, some technology here is missing. Is it military tech? Looks like it's military tech. Huh, I'm gonna find, find out what's going on here. Probably coal, maybe? Let me see. It uses electronic components, Planck tech cards, and vital research data. I already have the vital research data easily covered. Let me follow this belt and see where it takes me. Let's go on a journey. If I had to guess, it probably disconnected somehow on my hundreds of trying to fix the belts. It's good so far up to here. Where is it getting cut off then? It's fine up to here, fine here, fine here. Aha! I found it. Another ground tunnel got removed and I never replaced it. There was no production problem, it was a stupidity problem. I love how the, the deck cards actually glow in the dark too, at night. You see that? Look at how pretty that looks. Even on the belts, like they still glow in the dark. So yeah, but you're kind of <laughs> looking a little grim right now, you know, money-wise, but eventually Fingers crossed, I can make enough money to pay my bills, because right now it's not a thing yet. <laughs> it's not a thing yet. But last month, I was this um, the September was the first month this year that I was actually able to cover my bills 100%. Because of you guys throwing all the subs in. So that was super amazing of y'all. But I am guess that it was because of September and it's a lot cheaper to throw gift subs around and really appreciate it. Like I'm not take I'm not uh, undermining how amazing that was, but I understand that it was like a because it is September it's cheaper. You know I was actually only gonna bring thirteen hundred belts, but I think I'm gonna bring like a good five thousand just to finish this in one go instead of taking going back multiple times. So it's gonna be a full belt journey here. Trash here. Uh, let's go to the trash deposit. Throw in some. I guess I don't need the labs anymore. Uh, throw in stone, wood. That old one doesn't need it anymore. Uh, throw that in there. It's fine. Throw that in there. It's fine. Throw that in there. What happened to our coal? Coal is gone. <laughs> I thought as much. Did you not put extra coal on? 
I did not. Wait, there is that one production of coal there, but what's, why is it not getting to the end? Let me check this. Oh, I think this might be my fault. Oh no, it's getting there. It's just, it's very weak at the moment. Because I condensed four lines into one and it's just not enough anymore. Oh, and the coal is actually running out too, so. Yeah, the, the additional deposit that I cut, it's already running out. Once I finish my wall expansion, I'm gonna come back and fix these things. So I keep getting distracted by something. Well, I will um, put a coal mine on the train network now, seeing as there is a coal deposit right by the main line. Let me just get copper wired up first. I think this has been my favorite mod so far, Bungie. That it is such a pretty mod. Like everything is so high quality. Like everything was done really well. I definitely appreciate how pretty this mod is in every aspect of it. I, ca I cannot keep t talking about it. <laughs> I just like everything about it. Uh, I think only 37 turns is not going to be enough to finish. Let's grab another 100. Stations to make myself a new train friend and some more steel and some more steel beams. I guess I can just grab more guts. Then it should be fine. Hi there. What a vengeance! Ah. <laughs> You just take them all. What? You just take all the engines. I did not. It's this thing is being used for engines. There's something making with engines. Uh, filters. I guess I can slow it down. It's getting emptied out into. There you go. I stopped the. It was. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I slowed it down now. You can remove that inserter and place it back once you got enough of them. Do you need some? Oh, uh, shit! I don't have any. I have some, I have some, here you go. I need enough for a train. I have so 92. Like 20. Wow, sweet. Didn't even half your stack. In I'll take it all. Truly I happy. need the space. Thank I'll you. Take it all. I don't know why I had them in my inventory. I, was, I wasn't even using them. So steel and steel related products now are my only other thing. Of course, we're having steel problems at the minute, but. Yeah. There's plenty of iron. Just have to and plenty of coke too, so because it's coke and iron to make it. There's like a huge thick line of coke just going nowhere. But I will finish my wall now. And I have to grab more belts. See in about an hour once I've done this. <laughs> so hang on, if iron beams are backed up, that means that somewhere over here, iron beam production, which I assume takes I have steel plate, means I can get my iron beam or steel beams. There's steel beams production as well. There's steel beams and iron beams. Iron beams production. This is where it all goes to goes to bits. It's just there's quite a lot of spaghetti just mm -hmm. as soon as you're not paying attention to the actual bus. Yep. It's like the bus is there to hide our spaghetti. It's like, wow, look at this organized factory. Did you go to take a step to the right? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, get, you need balance, right? You cannot just have pure order, just, or just like you cannot have just pure chaos. Balance in all things. See, Shane didn't complete his smelting thing here. Give a shit for him. Oh, this is just not optimized. 
you would absolutely miss logistics robots, wouldn't you? I'm perfectly fine with Adam. This thing and organized. It's clean and organized. So they do restart. Much better. Still little things. That was gonna bug me if she wasn't fixed like that. You've adopted the warehouse and loading technique. <laughs> I love it. And we could make second starters at this point too, if you wanted to. Yeah, I think that's my next project maybe for tomorrow is kind of, this is the first draft of the train network, but really do need to get it updated to proper buffered stack inserters and gotcha. all the other stuff working correctly let's use some slam fill too Like those. I guess I can connect this to the main hub too. So I'm gonna connect this back up top. All the way up top. Our entire network is connected. We have separate power things. Now we're really, really low on resources. Feels tricky. Oh no, uh, our power is just dipped below the ne uh, necessary power. We're 8 megawatts shortage. It's all coming to pieces. <laughs> Doomed. Doomed. We can always extend our massive wind tunnel another 300 miles. I hope there's a way to actually calculate the distance of the game, like so you can actually tell how big of a factory we built in square footage or square mileage, square kilometers, etc. Grab the power again. How many times are we gonna do this? 
Even the spag get through the forbidden spaghetti zone. I know we have a lot of wind tunnels in these stars. Windmills, whatever. Surely has nothing to do with the fact that I've been placing radars like crazy all over the place. That no reason whatsoever that would be a problem, right? Yeah, Okay, copper is on the train network. Next, coal. Oh, look at that water body right there, just where I was heading. Amazing. I'm not gonna bother attacking them unless they attack me at this point. Or if they're within our walls. Or my cats. Blue over kill to use blue inserters and the starts. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter.
there that are tiny nests, adorable nests. So my material rifle ahead, can I make more of those? Nope. Really, Yuvi? That's crazy. I need to tell you a story, Yuvi. From a friend of mine told me, like that is, you told me this, and you tell you a story. But a friend of mine wasn't kind of in the same situation you were. They left the massive showroom doors unlocked clear enough you can see the locks were not engaged. Wow. Let, let me tell you, sorry, let me just finish this little thing real quick so I, I can focus and talk to you about it. Hang on. Right, so, friend of mine, right? He's. So uh, if you say like she could have stolen a, a hundred thousand dollar Mercedes, a hundred thousand pounds Mercedes tonight, but she, of course she's a good, she's a good person, so she didn't, because uh, it was unlocked on auto showroom. And I was, I just remember this story. A friend of mine who worked as a programmer, right, uh, spe especially SQL databases, and he was working for a, a big bank company, which I'm, I'm not allowed to tell the name of it because he said he can, he's not allowed to either. So he's been working, he just got hired, he's been there for a week, and they put him on finding errors in the transfer throughout the entire company. So first week there, he's like, okay, I'll get started on this. And so he got started, and the uh, first thing he realized is that he didn't have access to some of the certain accounts. So he reached out to his administrator, and he's like, yeah, here, here's, can you can use my account. And so he logs, logs into his administrator account and he finds out that there's something else not even his administrator has access to because it's some high tier stuff. And he eventually finds out that he's going to hire access. So he, because he was still logged in his administrator, he messages his administrators, the administrators, which happens to be the vice president of this huge bank. Like when I say huge, I'm talking the one that lends money to the entire world, right? And then... He then reaches out to that boss's boss boss against all the way to the president level and he just because he thinks it's the vice president who is ex ex for asks for access they just pass him on and he eventually finally able to log in and see what the issues are and there was this two or three employees who were funneling money out of the entire bank account and this company has an acceptable oh. loss of a hundred million dollars a month that's their acceptable losses from corporate stealing and these guys were in the neighborhood of a billion dollars. That's how much they have been stealing a month from the, from the entire bank. So he logs out the stuff. Like, okay, I found where the where this stuff is being drained. So he, he he logs that, puts on an email, logs back at his own account, and sends that to his administrator, which of course then gets carried on to his administrators and his administrator all the way to the president. And then he goes to bed. Uh, Un unbest known to him, it's his first week working the job, right? He he gets sent a message, he gets a call at 2 in the morning, then every 30 seconds of that, he gets 30 calls. Like, every single person in the company is calling him because they just realized what he found, right? It just keeps cascading. He goes in the morning, there's over a million 
voice calls, or voicemails, and his phone broke. Oh my god. So he gets said, please come into the office in the morning. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> what happened? And that's when he's, every single big CEO flew in by chopper just to have this meeting because they just realized what just happened. And they're <laughs> like, okay, first off, I just want to say, we really appreciate your honesty in this because you had access, you only been here for a week. Nobody in the company even knew who you were. Nobody would have even been the, the slightest unknown that you, you could have taken this $300 billion that you just found it and nobody would even realize who you even were. And the first thing the president looks at him and says, why didn't you? Why didn't you take it? And he's just sitting there like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. Uh, granted, he got a slight pay raise after that. I hope so. Oh yeah, uh, as you said, he comes. Yes, he's. I think he went from making six figures to close to seven after that. I can't even imagine making that much money in my lifetime. I, I, I mean, honestly, I'm going to level with you. I'm more shocked and my sigh of consternation was the concept of someone getting a pay raise for doing good work as opposed to just sucking up to the right people. Yep. <laughs> I mean, when you save your company $7 to $8 billion a month, I would say you deserve a raise. Okay. Gonna bring this cold yes, line. but you just said when you're so rich that three hundred billion dollars missing a month wouldn't even be missed. But apparently, when you send a message to all administrators, people get and take notice. I'm in my so, first yeah. kind of proper tech job. An apprentice, and um, was being shown the ropes and getting told about the kind of course which infrastructure I'd be helping manage, and um, got shown the logins to these directors. And directors are like switches on apps on steroids. They're huge. They're like cabinet-sized things. Mm -hmm. And um, we're like, oh, here, here are the these are responsible for the transactional processes of a bank that represents about. 60% of the UK financial market wow. at the time, much less now. Um, and uh, like, yeah, okay, so um, to get into this, uh, so yeah, the, if this goes down, the entire bank stops for about a minute and then stops for about two or three days while we try and figure out how to fix all the, all the problems that it's caused downstream. Um, yeah, so the login for this is, uh, the username is admin and the password is admin. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> wow I got changed that, that was like changed within the first week of me going hang on <laughs> hang this on. is not good <laughs> no <laughs> there, there, there was another uh, this is a funny one like that. this happened to me in college right so for, this is the first when I went to Wake Tech to get a my first, half of my electrical engineer before I went over to MC State University and finished my degree. But the hang on, I'm to queue some stuff here real quick. So first week of uh, so first year working as uh, studying Wake Tech. Uh, you're creating a password and we were using Unix computers, which were using Windows keyboards and you can see where this is going, right? Oh no. So I set up my password, it was a numpad, which normally the really old Unix computers didn't have a numpad, so I said I just put in six digits. I'm like, that's it, that's should be a pretty easy password to remember. And I used that password through my entire two years that I was there before I transferred versions to stage. At, at my last week of being there, that I, they said they have to cancel your account. They just log in to make sure they didn't have anything, you know, that you shouldn't be there. And then the admin came to me and asked, listen, I, I have a, I have this little table here that I, they, they pretty much, the admin asked me to come over and, and talk to him. And I was like, okay, what's going on? So I have this nice uh, 
uh, Excel sheet of sorts that I keep track of everybody's usernames and passwords just to see how people change and get to help people get creative with their passwords. And I need you to answer me this. How did you come up with this one? I'm like, what do you mean? It's only six numbers. I'm like, no, it's not. And then he went to show me, like, every time you press one of those numbers, because it, it's not recognizable by Unix, oh. it was like three pages worth of, like, just garble, garble mess. So my <laughs> password was, like, 18 pages long. I'm like, how can you possibly type it? And I showed him, like, oh, wow, that is a really safe way to make passwords. Like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I didn't even realize I did it, but yeah, sure. <laughs> But he was really like, that's so funny. Computers were so old, they didn't recognize the keyboards, the newer ones. During, obviously, yesterday's big Twitch um, change around, we were all, all, all the people that I do streams with were kind of changing passwords. Mm -hmm. and low key panic, and they were asking me for, for passwords for various reasons. And I was like, oh man, I have to. You know I have to log into my password manager. They're like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know I have, I, I've got like a USB security key. So it takes like ten separate clicks to get access to my password manager. Nice. Yeah, I have two two factor authentication mm -hmm. as well. I would even consider doing three factor authentication. So I have to check through my email and my phone, and then only then you'll be able to change your password. But I think two factor authentication is enough because nobody has access to my phone right now. And the coal has arrived. We don't have enough belts to finish it. Break the stone so I can place a stone wall in its place. Elf fudge flumps. I need to go and get more belts. It's strange enough, a stone has more hit points than a stone wall. Why do you have the turret space together so close when the range is farther? Just to look neat. Just so they look neat, that's all. So they can they can uh, uh, joint fire if there's a oh, big wow, wave coming. I guess. Structures already. What was that? Oh, density structures. Yeah. I think this is different because in Bob's and Angels, what it does is it puts more steps between you and the end game tech. Yeah. I have a feeling that in in Craftorio, it just makes more cool technologies after the end game tech. Yeah, and I'm perfectly okay with that. So it looks like I got a few 10 or 20 nests to clear. So if I can finish this waffle in, it shouldn't be that bad. I'm not going to bother clearing stuff outside the walls if they actually attack us. I don't, I don't see this as a threat at all. So this is a big one. That's a big one. Okay, I guess it's gonna need a little bit of finagling here. Having this belt of ammo following me around is just so convenient. I left at this plan when I first did it, but now I'm loving it. Now, where does the coal go? Right here. Oh, look, that's convenient, isn't it? So, let's put this in here. The 
so much easier. Oh wow, there's been a proper situation here. Yep. Proper has not been offloading for about oh, really? quite some time. Oh no. So overkill. There's still stuff here. There's not enough games to give you weapons that should run it out, so are bigger than units you're shooting at. You want more games that kind of scale? Yeah. There's a good game coming out next week for each Makara. It's called uh, The Rift Breaker. It's coming out of the 14. You get to play this giant mech. I'm going to be playing the hell out of that on stream. Uh, it's called The Rift Breaker. You can play a demo of it right now, free on Steam. And it looks super fun to play. Believed as Punch to announce that Cole has just hit the belt. Amazing. Not many more ammo for this. Have you thought about picking up the, the Rift Breaker next week? Yeah, maybe. I think I might watch you play it for a bit and see if it's something I'd be interested in. I've got a proper computer now, so I can buy these things. Yeah, the game feel like it's going to be very demanding on people's computer. Oof. I mean, look, I, I say oof. This is an okay computer. It's just a terrible graphics card. Oh yeah, what you running? I think it's a NVIDIA 760 or something, it's an old one. Oh wow. It's been a while since they've been affordable. Yeah, I can see that. If it wasn't part Especially of my job, I wouldn't break. spend as much money on my video cards, but I need it. We're especially screwed out here because uh, all, of the, all of Ireland's computer components tend to just come from the UK and now there's been Brexit that it's just taking forever for them to get to European distributors and resellers. Uh.
Oh, I'm going to the transmission. Yes, I could probably claim it on my taxes now when I buy stuff from my computer. Oh, damn, I didn't even think about that. How, is that something similar in the in the UK for taxes? Like if you something you buy for your job, can you declare as taxes? Well, um, Ireland isn't the UK. Sorry, Ireland. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible at remembering similar, people's um, homes. There's there's similar structures for both. What's this ammo getting? Oh, it's starting to put short. Well, I guess it is now, Bungie. <laughs> Bungie goes like, I thought that's when you bought your graphics card. Well, then it is now. <laughs> now I guess I can declare that of my taxes. That's, that'll be amazing. That'll be a good chunk. I actually got it super cheap. You're not going to believe how much I got my 3070. If you had to guess, how much do you think I've got on my GTX 3070? It has to be at least a grand. Yeah. You are wrong by double. What? I spent three ninety nine on it. Yep, yeah, three hundred ninety nine dollars. I got lucky. There was an, a local Intrax where I live that they were selling them only to people not on the internet, because they said they're tired of their stuff just running around to complete uh, people off world. Whatever they say off world is off town, whatever. So they're purposely only selling local. Like, yeah, okay, I'll take one. They would only allow us to buy one at a time either. It was limited one per one per person. So I told all my friends, it was gone the next day. <laughs> all of it was all gone. <laughs> Not a surpriser. Well, it's lucky I hung around and didn't just declare this a huge success because the coal station's broken. And for the same reasons as the oh, last no. 15 stops that have broken. I'll get it fixed or get you to help me get it fixed. It's just as great as No idea where you're going, Mr. Train. You're my lift home, so could you kindly what? Starting to learn how your train goes. Where are you going? It's actually bad if you find a dead alien nest that you didn't clear, right? Like why is this cleared? <laughs> Do we have other competitors in this map that we don't know of? Um, the plan is to go wall here. Here, here. That's the plan. Yeah, I'm securing a bunch of iron and copper here. In this up the newer expansion net plan. Pretty much took this as of our base. Let's expand that further out. Why not? I keep finding more deposits that I want to encapsulate, so. <laughs> And there's another nice lake right there too. Because here, here, here. I'm never gonna finish this wall project, this base. I keep finding more stuff that I want to put inside the walls. I'm like, no, it's just maybe a little further, maybe just a little further. <laughs> I don't need that much stairs. <laughs> Wait, there's uranium right there. Train. Uranium and rare metals could go on the same train. Yep. 
for economizing. <laughs> That was Shiny Lamp's, uh, the reserve he built there. But he was laughing out of the Shiny Spider Reserve that he built on an island. It's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Three point eight million rare metals in the northwest just got revealed. That is a spicy deposit. It's so far. <laughs> We're already gonna have this two point four million one here to the south of me. Yeah, but why have two point four when you can have three point eight? Just put <sighs> some more walls. Like. <laughs> Not helping. <laughs> I, I'm pretty pleased with myself. That's a full automated station mechanism and train network set up in one session on a weeknight. Yeah, I mean, I'd love I what will, you did with uh, the place there. It looks amazing. I think I will quit while I'm ahead and go get some sleep. Alrighty. I'll see you soon. Hopefully. See you, good friend. Thank you for the help again. No problem. Have a good evening. Oh, look at that. Some beautiful setup. Did a coax uh, thing, iron. This iron is set up, copper is set up. Beautiful. No, I'm sticking my original plan. Go to the top of that lake, to this lake, and then down here, and then down here, and down here. Grenades to clear this out. And I need some power up here. Oh, I could have just looked at the power through. I didn't even think about this. Look at this. It's sort of even prettier here. Oh, it, it, there's even a perfect island for it. Oh my goodness. Please tell me that will work. Some landfill. After all, the depths of my laziness know no bounds. <laughs> Is that going to be around? Nope, just do this. Ambitious expansion. <laughs> of course, I'm going to run out of walls before I can finish this project, obviously. 
It's completely unnecessary because the biters are not even doing anything to us. They're not nowhere nearly as aggressive as they were in the other mod, in the base mod. The death world going on. It's complete overkill. 100%. There's so many worms in that nest. Oh my goodness. Yep, I'm gonna need more walls. Just for now. I think what I should do for now is just clear these. Let's just go south, let's just go clear this. I have the ammo for this. Let's do let's at least do one thing, finish one thing here. So overkill. Ridiculous. There's the that by hand. There's this one south of here. Oh, I guess I can't forget to collect the creep. I think it's this one anyway. Oh, that one is slightly bigger. I guess I could put a few towers. So unfair. So unfair. It's just so much quicker. I'm 
have two deposits in this only this one here to the east. That one is with camouflage in the copper. Got a little sneaky one there. So sneaky. I think it's I don't think I'm gonna need a tower for this one, do I? Nope. No. Didn't even need to. Is there any? There must be some like creep left behind. Oh yeah. The biomass. So we do our military science, which is probably stuck because we don't have any biomass right now, right? Now it's going. It's it's all going. Never mind. Oh, that's an iron deposit. Hey, friendos. I feel this too. Noise. Squishy noise. Good. There's two little things. Oh, it's crude oil. I just barely see it. Laser too, but do I really need laser? This one's like, do I even need it? Let's get the wall this way, this way, 
and over here. So, and then there's just putting everything in between. Let's go grab some more walls and all that fun stuff so we can actually finish this. I want to finish at least this today. It's not going to take that long, it's just tedious work. on the wall and it matters. All the biomass of the science labs. I think that we now have the bio lab that we can actually just produce a biomass ourselves. So I don't have to even bother picking it up anymore. Maybe that's what produces. Gross creep. Yeah, there you go. Hm. What could possibly go wrong developing a, an alien nest in our borders? Nothing, right? Oh, that's sloppy right here. I think Shiny made a thumbs up here with the forest. Yep, he did. Copper out? Nope, not at the moment. Let's grab some walls because I need walls. Could drop all the biomass. Still looks like it could use some love. It's a feature of me problem. Let's drop all the biomass over here. Barely even use the ones I have. I need this cleared so I can get our main bus just goes right through it, so we need the space. Splitters like that in the middle of nowhere, but just burning through belts. So we're not gonna get construction boss after this manually. Kill all the trees over here, too. Let's drop some of this yellow belts. Drop some of these tunnels. Drop some of these splitters. Grab a ton of belts. Let's grab some more. Oof, power is looking bad. Let's let's play some wind tunnels right now. I didn't want to. I mean, wind turbines, whatever. Yeah, seven hundred of them should be enough. Look how cool the deck cards look in the in the dark. That was shiny a little bit.
Do 100% rush for new types of weapons? I figured, yeah. I've done that multiple times, so I've already seen it all. Nooks are pretty fun. I've already used it a few times. But I just like to just enjoy the game. The aliens are already not a threat anymore at this point. The new weapons are just overkill. How much involved are they anyway? Point seven, yeah, they're already 0.73 and they don't feel difficult at all. Unless they have to go past 1 this mod. Which I guess I will find out very soon. There's no kill like overkill. Using grenades to clear stuff. Our green factory as we demolish all the trees. Very green. See, so yeah, we can wait for a clean windmills. Do not use nuclear antimatter artillery? I'm not. Yeah, I've used artillery before in other mods. I mean, the ba even the base game has artillery, but it's completely overkill. <laughs> wow, like, we're so far from nukes right now, it's not even funny. So until that happens, you have to clear it the regular way, you know, just murder the life forms, either towers or by hand, whichever is easier. It's very unsportsmanlike to use nukes. It's like using dynamite for fishing. Calls for science. Science is going. I'm researching as fast as I can right now. Got enough labs going. It's perfectly fine. Science harder. Because we're not using construction bots in this one, Vegeta. We're purposely doing this so we can appreciate construction bots in future playthroughs. No logistic bots, no construction bots. Because we're masochistic like that. Expander signs by 3 inches or more. I see what you did there. I just wanted to just do this by hand, it's fine. It's very cathartic and relaxing. There's only 700 of them anyway, I already used half of them. Power looking now. Let's get another 7 megawatts.
This looking for your bottle beats will be super easy, but I don't want to cheese it. This ga this game is already so easy to begin with. It's just more convenient. I just feel like reinventing the wheel what we're doing here, but yeah. it's like I got anything better to do anyway. But is it the quick math? What's 700 times 20? Is that 2800? That is 2800, right? 700 times 20? 2800? Uh, or is that 1400? 1400. Yep, 1400. Build some exoskeleton legs, maybe to move faster. I think I'm gonna do that before I go on to the outside. only produce 20 kilowatts they're not very efficient and they're very space consuming but maintenance free <laughs> i don't think anybody should ever rely on the fact that it makes just windmill like this it's like the worst thing you can do oh it's off by one Then, in a mount. I just put the power grid on. It's power looking. Oh, there you go. Power is green again. Dang. <laughs> So how do I make an exoskeleton leg? And what what would I need for that? I'm not being that stuff. Never mind. I guess we're not making that. Not that yet. Suppose I just grab a bunch of walls and go finish what we started. Don't think I need any more power poles, got enough. Belts. Should be enough. Oh, we probably should acquire more guns. Guns are going to be needing a lot more than 100. 112 should be enough.
Drop the crap ones, grab a bunch of new ones. I'll fix those later. Oh, and what do I need to make more of this bullets just in case? Need two material. Some copper plates. I don't have space for that. I guess I just need some steel plates. The, the filter is going up here. There's the filter. Just okay. gonna place one of these. This is just sitting in my inventory forever. Helps clean the pollution. Pretty sure that's the pollution filters, right? Yep, it is. Oh, that is the pollution filters stacked now. Oh wow, look at that. Definitely made a difference. Huh. Shines by the reserve got attacked. Oh no, it's falling. No, I think I'm just gonna put water around the, the around his turrets so that if he does fall, he'll be isolated incident he can fix later. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring a little bit of land water fill, just fix that for him. <laughs> First I'm gonna drop this off. Shiny stuff. After I drop this off. I love what he did here with the trains, looks so cool. Why didn't they just walk on the paved area? I just wasn't thinking there. Wow, is it completely full? Oh, he has enough power. Huh. What happened? Oh, he does lose power. Oh. Ah, I see how it lost power. Duh. That was only... So it's gonna be completely pointless after a while. I mean, it's already pointless. There's nothing in between. So any other types of towers we could use? Wow, these things need a lot of power. Two point four megawatts each. Yeah. Probably not gonna bother using these. There's no need. I 
Yeah, this is just Shiny's water. I'm, I'm just gonna make like a little isolator thing. Well, I guess that wasn't enough. Next time, maybe then. Yep. I'm a horrible person. This doesn't have defenses here. Sure has good range though. It really is. Pollution animal cruelty. Not a very fair game. Oh, it's not, it's just it doesn't matter at all. It's just a bulk item. Right, so clearing all of this, take this and that. Let's go where I stopped. Why don't I bring fuel for my car? That was stupid. Is there any coal? Oh, there's coal. Maybe I can use this. Let's find out. Hopefully I can use coal on the cars. Nope. This one only uses fuel. See that? This mod, you cannot use cars that easy. Is that freaking more people? No, I think it's just for further reach. I mean, it's really good at taking out like the... The spitters, like the, the spitter, or whatever they call the worms, they're really good for against worms. They're actually not that bad. Just, I, killing biters not as terrible. They're they're good for, more for taking out the little worms. It's a very unfair weapon, and especially in this game, where range is just everything. Yep, the worms. Yep. It is a perfect time where the sniper rifle is amazing. Look at this. It's unfair. Guys, where should we go?
It's pretty fast. Taking too long. That is just taking too long. Let me just expedite this process. The artillery is best. Well, wow, that's that's not even a comparison. In this mod projectiles actually go have to go through trees. Unlike in the base game, they can just overlap trees, which is so broken. Pretty much, they try to make Polos a little more realistic in this mod. Cared for the deposit, but we're so we're probably never even gonna get a chance to use this deposit in the future. So, just clear it up. to worry about it. Hmm. Yeah, they can be ours clearing the fighter south under three houses with conventional weaponry, except the substitutes. I'm gonna, gonna cut off right there. That, that's far enough. Sizer is just the edge of your radar, just the edge of my radar. The, the world stuff is huge. I don't think there's an actual end to the world. So far, they're all, they, they, the nests will just keep growing, 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 non stop. So there's always something to expand to, there's no limit. The radars are constantly pinging the exploring more and more. Yeah, there's no end to uh, how far it can go. Fine. 
is cathartic to build this stuff by yourself. Is that up to McKenna's peasantry? Yeah. Oh, we're finding some big one nests. Look at the big one there. Found the found the mother loads of nests. Missiles, yep, so defenses. It's very humbling not building the, the everything by hand. How far did I get the turrets? I got it so far. There. I mean, a wall this size is already ridiculously overkill. This is so over the top, it's not even funny. It's completely unnecessary. Humbling isn't a word you expect to describe Victoria. Yep, that's a big one. Once I find the edge of that water, that's where I'll stop. Hey there, friend us. Oh, hi. Friend, I didn't want to say hi. I don't want to use, but I don't have ammo. 
Okay, I guess we'll place another one right here. Alright, I guess we'll fix it. Be really close. It really was. Oops. Get you that water, it's perfectly fine. I just have to clear all of this shit. Oh my god. Alright, it's taking too long. Finish them off. Hey, Migos, how are you? Call me at the end of the stream. How's it going? The best time to join. Oof. Space engineers. It's fun. Oh, hi, Pringles. Okay, that's a big one. 
grab a bunch of ammo, clear that up real quick. Okay, let's, let's just purge through this a little faster. Murder! Fighting back on this time. <clears throat> Have some more ammo. Don't need that much because the towers are just probably gonna die again. The sound when you pick out the creeper. The squishy sound. Who enjoys that sound? I'm actually running low on towers. I'm going to eat some fishies. Do I have some on me? Do I have some? Yes, I do. Close the one to the wall. I can actually see it from the wall. The range of this rack was ridiculous. Let's 
honestly good enough. But I'm gonna clear the nest just to be thorough. Yum. All the biomass. Is the strategy collecting their resources versus clearing the nest first? Well, it's just easier to clear the biomass after. There's no point in clearing that while you're still clearing the nest. I was just clearing so I can place towers because you cannot build on top of that crap. That's why I was clearing a little bit first. Because I needed to place some towers to clear a little further in. Because you cannot build over the creep. That's why I was clearing it. I was cleaning some of it early. Oh, that's already purple. I don't have purple yet. Alright, let's go reach the end of what we can't research right now. Which they look like it finally. More grenades, unless I can make some by hand. Nope. Trust myself to far out what I place the wall, so just, let's just let's go print in order here. The only thing I'll clear is just for the wood. I wish it would have brought grenades to clear this again, but this is so far from the base now. Just put it by hand, it's fine. It's fine. This is a journey and a half, huh? Place it in the one spot that wouldn't fit. Nice. There we go. It's 
Put some a few more over here. Alrighty. Now I have to clear all these. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. What time is it? Five o'clock. I got about an hour, I guess. Probably gonna need more than twenty-one ammo though. Let's grab at least a hundred. See, if I extend this over to here, it'd be perfect, because then all this is cleared. I'm still going to have to clear all this nest, though. How far, is, how far down is that other nest? It's right by the water. There it is. Use my bullets. clear. So I should probably pick up the, the stuff I left behind. Let's run out of everything. I'm just gonna go get, get really close to it. It's a terrible idea. Terrible idea. It's much quicker. Is the fish? There's a fish. Just put it here. Squish, squish, squish.
is just now housekeeping. I bet it's inside the walls. Swords are getting stronger now. It's good. Proper challenge, then. I should say that. But... The uranium actually does damage, so if you get close to the uranium now, the uranium actually does radiation damage to you in this mod, which is kinda cool. Running kinda low on turrets and ammo. Grab a little bit of ammo before I go into that and clear those other two. I think this belt somewhere, right? Might as well go here. I'm also very out of tunnels at the moment. Do I just want to dip it down when uh, games can have uranium to damage to you? Really? I would just say that. When is in a gamut meter in order to fuel the effects of rain reactor, you have to eat it. Yes, let's totally eat uranium to figure out that. I'm good. Is it plutonium that I means still radioactive material? Shouldn't it still not? Is there long term exposures that you feel from it? Or if you just hold it, it's not gonna be that bad? It's a good idea to just avoid it altogether. Transportable barrels of that signature yellow kick uranium with no protective equipment besides gloves, so you wouldn't be in particular danger. Alright. I probably still wouldn't risk it though, but. Let's see, then in a forested area, it is. That 
one is spinning really far. That's not good. Not good at all. Hmm. Let me just poke at him. I mean, it's a very weak as far as the material goes, which is why there's so much of it. Ah, oh, okay. Isn't there this cave, like, in the... Under, underneath Africa, I believe, that has, like, a natural... They say it's a natural nuclear reactor, so like you actually radio, like it's more potent than any nuclear reactor on Earth, but it's naturally occurring underneath. Uh, is it in Africa that they have that? I'm trying to remember where I saw this. It only emits alpha radiation from what you can know, which is stop a few inches of air over a sheet of paper. Compare a bit of game radiation, which goes further. Gotcha. We only really most emit alpha, but also beta and gamma. Okay. repairs in the stores. Yeah, they really hurt.
close those three. Deposit of the some material such as uranium will reach critical mass for nuclear fission to happen naturally, such as landslide bringing two patches of the stuff together. Uh, I think at this point I should probably just grab, it, grab the tank and just finish this quicker, would I think? They can make tanks now, right? Yeah, and I have all the technology, I'm just gonna make a tank. It's much faster with a tank. Oh, but I need to make fuel too. I need to make that. In Gabon, the western side of Africa. They've been operating for 2 billion years. Yeah. They got a few years on the humans, I guess. Could go make a tank. This is ridiculous. What time is it? It's 5 30. No, I've been streaming for 9 hours. <laughs> Probably should just pick this up tomorrow night. Usually on Fridays, we are a little more. a little busier. Yeah, I have to clean all the stuff by hand. Yay! Northern Wall has been seeing some love. That's okay. We try to expand down here and make it very far. But this will be it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys being here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little raid at somebody. Let's see who is playing some Victoria today. Or I could just throw a raid at Shin. Shin has played some Stellaris. Hope you guys would enjoy some Stellaris. So, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your Friday tomorrow, and I'll see you. If you want to see the end of this playthrough, come by tomorrow. All right, have a good night. And this is always open multiplayer, so if you feel like joining, you're welcome to. See ya. Thank you guys for watching again.